Welcome everybody, we are live on Twitch! Hello, hello! Playing Dragonair Silent Gods, and I'm excited! Because I've been loving playing the game again so far, I'm so obsessed. This was the one game that stuck out to me more than any other game that was coming out after I quit playing Raid, and it's nice to have my one true love back. <laughs> So I do want to say that while today's stream is sponsored, um, this challenge is all my idea. There's nothing like they're not making me do this. This is just my idea and it happens to roll with a sponsored stream. And I'm excited because this is something I wanted to do since uh, closed beta 2. I had already planned that once Global was out, I'm going to do a Starlight only challenge. And it's going to be my main account focus. So, whew. I'm excited to get into it. We have lots of people interested in playing along with us. And we have lots of people already here in chat. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Grammar Hell, for the sub already. But before I get into that, I do want to give a little intro for those of you that maybe are finding Dragonair for the first time. So, we love Dragonair. It is a tabletop RPG-inspired game. Amazing graphics. Dark fantasy vibe. Almost 200 characters in the game. Lots of synergy possibilities, which is why I find it so much fun. Like, so far, I, originally I was obsessed with the one of the necrotic guys. I think Zarloth is so good. I hope I get him on the free-to-play. But then on my main account, I just couldn't resist my gorgeous, legendary, top-tier Flora. So here I am back playing a wild team. I just love the options that the game really gives. And that's the truth. That is the truth. Oh, I'm so excited, though. I'm excited for this. I'm like, whoo! Let's go! Let's go to the challenge! <laughs> but if you guys don't know, um, Explanation Point Dragoner, if you guys have not started already, and you need a quick link to download, there's also a Twitch banner, like, in my About section, if you guys haven't downloaded the game already. I highly suggest you give it a try. I think it's a great game to play if you don't have a ton of time to play every day, because once you catch up with the level caps, it's not super time-intensive, which I think is a good thing. It also allows you to play it alongside other games, so you don't feel like you have to have the need to choose. Just play both is the answer. People always ask me, which game do you like better? I'm like, both. Both is the answer. <laughs> but also, um, it is available on iOS, PC, Mac, Android, all the things. And it is um, also... It was... Oh, sorry. It was also part of the WWDC event for Apple, which is really important. It shows that it's up with the Apple's latest technology. So this game does not leave you Apple players aside like a lot of games do. But I'm excited. Let's get into it. Um, this is the free to play Starlight Challenge. Uh, let, I do have a command Starlight. Also for info. Yeah, we're about to select a server. So that's going to be the first step. <laughs> So I'm going to be joined by, not in the stream, but I have already have a video out, which is linked there in the thing I just threw up. So we have Sky Asterix and Gorax joining me for this challenge. They'll be having their communities join us too. You guys, everyone, we want everyone to play along with us. Hopefully you guys can start today, but if not, start tomorrow, the day after, whatever. Um, if you're watching this later on YouTube, I am going to, so you guys know here on Twitch, or YouTube, uh, as the intro, I guess. I am going to post the whole gameplay from today's stream. I'm going to put chapters in, so you can skip to the summons, skip to the whatever you want to see, the character creation, whatever, the Child of Chaos fight. We're going to have chapters in here as well. So if you guys can't stay for the stream, you could always watch it later on YouTube. So pay attention for that. Um, but yeah, I, I'm... Going to first choose a server, but before we choose a server, I just want to make sure you guys know where to find the details for this challenge, right? So, exclamation point Discord. Exclamation point Discord is my Discord. This is the hub of the challenge, guys. If you are doing the challenge, you need to get in the Discord or else you're not going to be winning free stuff. <laughs> so, I have all the challenge rules here in my Discord. I have the details, I have the rules, like TLDR must start now, today, with me as we choose a server, or after. Any accounts that started before, sorry. Um, 
And let's see here. If the server fills up, I can't help it, guys. If you start late, you're just going to have to play on a different server. But you can still play along with us. Starlight die only is the whole point. No Heliolite die can be pulled for the whole season. You got to save them for next season. Uh, and then no content creator perks as well. But if we get free legendaries, um, I forgot before the content creator perks. If we get free legendaries like from the horn, if you get a legendary from the horn, you can use it. Because that we got to show people it actually happens. Um, <laughs> and if you get like free legendaries like Utor from the event or Erich from the log from the one step ahead, then we can use him as well. Uh, free to play only 100% free to play no spending um, and you can win giveaways or twitch drops twitch drops are turned on now guys so if you're about to start an account start it with me after I get started here and then go to twitch drops relink your new account and start accruing rewards for your new account right and then yeah worm morrow can be used for whatever people wish uh, the details are here for all the content creators involved so far we're going to choose Nytheria 5 for our server. Let's get into that. Also, the most important part. You guys want free stuff, right? So we're going to have rewards. We have missions here in my Starlight Missions tab. Um, if you guys, whoever the first one is to complete certain missions, you get a code for five Starlight die, one epic scroll, and one rare scroll. So this is really perfect. Um, a fun way to encourage the community to get involved. And you can only win once, though. One person cannot win all of these. You can only win once from the batch. So we'll have the, this is the, there's a submission section for that. Lots involved. But okay, I think, I think that mostly covers it. Sorry, guys. Here in Twitch, I was ignoring the chat because I could not, I wanted to make sure I didn't forget all the stuff. But yeah, there's lots to cover. And I want to make sure everyone knows where to find the information. Also, if we have uh, Sky Asterix, in his Portuguese community, I'm going to have Sky put the translated information there. And we're going to have a separate chat for the Portuguese community. If you guys want any other language chats, feel free as well uh, to let me know and I can add those. But let's go. Nytheria 5. Let's go. Let's get into it. Let's party. I'm so ready. Ah, we could just, oh yeah, we could just start a character from the beginning because I'm not carrying over my character. Yes, let's go. Purple lizard. Purple lizard or... Sexy human with the purple outfit. Oh gosh, I like both of them. The brunette version of her wearing the purple outfit. She's spicy, just saying. But I want a purple lizard because I can. Because I can, I want a purple lizard. <laughs> I love this. I also really love these cute ears. My main account, I chose a different one. Or not my main account. This is going to be my main account, guys. This is going to be my main account. Um, Nytheria 5. Okay, so let me see if I can pin that in the chat. Actually, I can't. Let me, let me quick cut over here. Let me pin that, so... There we go. All right. Nytheria 5, let's get into it. I love this lizard so much. Okay. Let's make a quick lizard. Wait, what's the clothing? When I want, if I want... I want purple, all the purple. Ooh. The blue looks good with the blue eyes, though. I do not like this outfit, it's boring. Okay, the definitely the blue to accent the eyes. And then some yellow facial pattern to accent... Oh god, I'm getting silly, guys. Maybe some yellow facial pattern to accent the rest of the outfit. We have to match. Ooh, it's too much. <laughs> it's too much. We're getting silly. We're getting silly. Let's make our character. We got to make it look cool. Number one importance. The character needs to look cool. I'm sorry. I really like the lantern. I'm going to roll the lantern. I don't know that I like my character, though. I don't know if I like it after all. I don't know if I like the purple lizard. I'm going to roll with it, though. I'm going to roll with it. It's fine. Purple lizard, blue eyes. It's good enough. Good enough. Let's go. Hey, I... Wait. Ivy Lee Gaming. Let's see if I can keep that whole... Just the free-to-play. Hey, we can. Oh, 
I'm like, wait, why is there nothing? Let's go. So I am going to be a dirty, dirty story skipper, guys, because we've gone through this a lot. So we're just trying to roll. We're trying to get right into it. But I am going to make sure I choose all my options, interact with all the NPCs and all that fun stuff. And I will try to do better now of keeping up and interacting with Twitch chat because, yeah, I really couldn't at the beginning. I'm excited, though. Let's go. I don't need to talk to those people. I remember that not being important, but it's cute. The story is really good. If you guys are playing for the first time, don't feel the need to rush through. Enjoy the story. Enjoy the lore. Um, and yeah, get playing. Oh, you know what? Is there any promo codes working? Let's check that out first. Redemption code. Last I knew, Dragon919 was one of the last one working. But I will say, I doubt there's any more left. <laughs> there was like one other one? Dragonair E. What was it? Dragonair EU something. If anyone knows any promo codes that actually still work, let me know. But I don't think any of them work anymore. Which is really sad for our free to play. You just use Dragonair JP. Okay. Let's start off with the promo codes. Or drag. Yeah, Dragonair JP. Capitals do matter in this. Oh, no, it's used. Okay, nope. We're screwed. <laughs> we're screwed. It's fine. It's fine. Let's go. Oh, shoot. I forgot to post that I was live on Discord. Probably should do that. Just saying. Probably should do that. <laughs> Hello, Neva. Day three. Steady dreaming. Grammar hell. Everyone's here. Rasta, Kars, Gorax. Hey. Kamari, Shomix. Edicor, I know you're lurking. J or, or Johnny, De Johnny Depp spelled funny. I love that. Johnny Derp. Rob Master. Elm Street Reactions. Hey, hey, hey. Lots of follows, too. Thank you, guys. I'll try my best to keep up. All right, let's go. I'm so... I'm just really excited to see what I'm going to pull first. I just want to know, like, what I'm going to roll with for an account. I'm so curious. Oh, Kmar. Yeah, sorry. There we go. Yes. Hello, hello. Oh yeah, you play Watcher. Have you haven't you haven't played Dragonair yet? I love this game. It was the first game that stuck out to me interest-wise. CBT kind of died down, which is expected. It was a beta, so like I kind of was looking for another game and that's why I started the other, but at the end of the day, this is the game that interested me the most from the beginning, so it's really nice to come back to it. And now I don't want to go too quickly and skip stuff and not walk around the environment. So Instead of progressing forward, I'm going to go run around and make sure I got every resource possible. Because this is a free-to-play. What's the challenge? Well, info is here. Um, so, why does my command not work? All right, so I have a YouTube video with me and Sky and every and talking about the challenge, me and Gorax. Actually, here, um, the list, the Discord that's linked there, you can go into the Discord. If you go into my Discord here, um, and you go to challenge rules you can see all of the challenge rule information the whole point is we are starting now today on nytheria 5 as our server and with new accounts free to play accounts and you can only pull starlight die you cannot touch your heliolite die all season why do you have to make a new one you can use your you can be connected but if you already went into nytheria you already, why would you go in? I, you knew you had to, I thought you said you knew you had to wait for, we had to choose. You could. It was all good as long as you chose Nytheria 5 if you just started it. I used my same account and just picked a different server and I'm fine. All right, so I don't want to miss any rewards. So I am going to go wander, make sure we fight everything and gather all of our resources. This is a free to play. No, no spending. I said free to play. The whole point, free to play. This is a free to play only challenge. It's free to play starlight challenge. It's up there too. <laughs> free to play starlight challenge. 
No spending allowed. All right, we're going to explode stuff. Battle pass does not count. Buying a monthly pass once does not count. <laughs> not allowed to buy the battle pass. Only the free rewards. Boosha, thank you for the follow. Or Prime Sub, Prime Sub, thank you. Chate? I'm really bad if that's French. I don't know. <laughs> Free to pay. No, no. Free to play. We're just going to have fun and we're going to get Starlight Die. We have missions along the way. So if you're just joining us, guys, part of the fun of this is we're trying to get the community involved. Come hang out with us. Make an account. Join in with the community, all sharing what our strategies, only using our... You can use legendaries, the ones I mentioned that we get, all get for free. Um... Or possibly get for free if you can grind out the event. We don't really know yet. But, or if you get one from the horn. But the whole point is just, yeah. Use Starlight Die, get rares, get epics, have some fun. See what you can do. And I have missions to go along with it. So I'm going to have, I have the list of missions in the Discord. You can check out the list of missions with the Starlight Missions tab. Uh, channel, I should say. And those are like whoever reaches those things first. You submit your your mission in the mission submissions and Ooh, yay, resources. Okay, now we walked around the circle. Now I can go back. <laughs> and then you'll get rewards. The first people to do the things will get a uh, five starlight die plus a couple scrolls for skilling up your heroes. So we're we're having incentives along the way to make it fun. You don't need Dragonair on Bluestacks. Don't use it on Bluestacks. It has its own PC client. That's what my... Just download it directly. Here's my link right there. Boom. You're in, Gorax. Yay, welcome. All right, so let me... So if you guys are not already following, make sure you are following Gorax Plays. He is participating in the challenge. He also does stream on Twitch sometimes and has a YouTube channel. And same goes for Sky Asterix. Um, let me put in his. He also does as well. Yeah, the PC client is very smooth. There's no need for using Bluestacks unless you're using multiple devices, which could be fine, but it's it's going to be a lot better on the PC client. Unless you're using multiple accounts where you want them open at the same time, that I understand. But to be fair, you this is not the kind of game that takes long to grind um one account at a time you don't need to have like things going for hours like raid or something and that's what makes it fun right that's what makes it fun the pc client's wonderful the graphics are beautiful in this game hey swagger swagger play dragon air with us let's go I'm excited. This is a perfect final set of sponsored streams, too. Let's let people that have not played Dragonair realize how cool the community actually can be. We're doing fun stuff together, interactions, multiple content creators involved, getting the community involved. Let's have some fun and create some quirky accounts together. But don't worry, guys. Even though this is my final sponsored stream... I'm still going to be streaming Dragonair every week. <laughs> Boom! Explosion! Boom! I love Notira's little skill there. I will be posting the two hour, at least two hours of gameplay on YouTube. Yep. I will, I will. I'm just trying to make sure I say all the things for new people joining. I'm not trying to sound scripted. I'm just trying to say all the things because new people are popping in constantly. Bone fo Frasso, hello, hello. Gotta say all the things. Not for the YouTube sake. I already said it for the people here in Twitch now. I already said the YouTube things. I already gave a YouTube intro. A new face. Hey, girl. Hey, let me turn it up so I can actually hear her. Maybe my sound's a little low for the vocals. We? Ah, no, Tira. Okay, I guess I need to turn up the so conversation a little bit. 
Actually, no, I don't. We said we're story skipping. Sorry. It's a nice story. I'm gonna turn it down. Sorry, it's a nice story. Sorry. I feel guilty story skipping, but we already did it multiple times. <laughs> we're story skipping because it's multiple times. All right, so let me turn off just so it's not annoying with the sounds. Let me turn off the dialogue. The dialogue is great. They do have great voice acting. Keep in mind as well. They actually do. It's pretty fun. Some of the things are really great that they say in battle. I find it quite hilarious. Like, um, Netta, isn't it? She says, be my firewood. Be my firewood. And my favorite is Vitar. Ah, Storm. Ah, Storm. And accept your fate. Accept your fate. All right, so before we go down and talk to Hexandra, we need to gather all the free stuff we can. But I'm not going to overexplore that way because we have to go that way anyway, right? Or is this the spot? Nope, not yet. They don't let us yet. No, I don't know any um, promo codes that are currently working. Yeah, if you're playing for the first time, definitely don't skip the story if you if you can handle it. It's long, and it'll take a while to feel like you got out of the intro, but that's the whole point, is to, like, get introduced to the story. And they did a really good job with the lore. It's wonderful, honestly. Uh, it is pinned. We have Nytheria 5. Is our server... If you guys join the challenge, you're just going to um, I'm going to be creating an alliance as soon as I get to the point where I can. And I will let everybody in that's actually doing the challenge. When it comes to winning the rewards, I will be asking people for screenshot verifications of your account number of your um, whether you're like your account screen and your champions hey install delete repeat wearing my mask hype go first try this nut power zero nox law of chaos daniel i death by long name i'm already having a hard time follow i'm so bad with the names kieran elk dexta Thank you guys for the follows. Johnny Derp, Captain Bear, Mr. Crispy, Cash Sheffield. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys for the follows. Let's get to it. All right. Cooking, guys. Do not underestimate the power of cooking in this game, by the way. All right. Well, I am a full-time content creator. This is my only job, and Twitch does not pay much, so I definitely appreciate any Prime subs, Kieran. <laughs> this is my full only thing I do for a living, and Twitch definitely does not pay the bills, so <laughs> any little bit is definitely appreciated. This is the only thing I do. Yeah, the, the consumables are huge. Oh, Despawn, thank you as well. Thank you, Kieran. Woohoo. Well, let's get a hype train going. Hype train! Thank you, Swagger. <laughs> as I eat my fresh pears again. Let's go. I really like the music in this game. It makes me feel peaceful. You know what I kind of wish, though? I wish games never do this, but I wish they did. I wish games would have a soundtrack where instead of trying to match the sound to what's happening in the game, which is fine. I get the whole point, especially if you're doing like a cutscene. But I hate every time you go into a battle, the sound changes. You come back, the sound changes. Like, I just want a nice, flowing, pretty background music soundtrack in the background that just flows naturally. I wish games would do that. It's just not a thing. 
<laughs> At what level do you unlock guilds? I don't remember. We're going to find out. <laughs> we are going to find out. Let's go. Oh, yeah, that's true. Dislike is all based around music. That's different. <laughs> No, it's the whole point is that they they have good in-game music. It just changes. But because this is a sponsored stream, I want to use their background music anyway. And I can't have anything that could be any sort of copyright. But I think afterward, I used to... You know how I used to play... Um, I used to play Twitch... What was it called, guys? Do you remember? I, I used to always talk about it. Twitch has a special, like, uh, audio thing, like a playlist thing. No, it's a Twitch thing. What the hell was it? Soundtrack by Twitch. Soundtrack by Twitch. I used to use that all the time during my other streams. And I think I used it a little bit with this, too. And I, I used to use, like, my pop punk playlist. And it's good. And then it doesn't go to the VOD, but you can play it live. And if I just record separately, it doesn't go to my recording either. So that's kind of perfect, but... I realize I just never set that up ever since I got my newer computer. I just never set up soundtrack by Twitch, so I'll probably do that for my next stream. Because uh, Wednesday, Wednesday will be when I stream Dragoner every week, guys. So every Wednesday, my later stream, which is like, well, not too late because we changed our stream times. But I stream at 5 p.m. UTC every Wednesday, and that will be Dragoner. My other streams for Watcher are on YouTube now, and that's Fridays. I wasn't paying attention. Let me redo that. <laughs> I was not paying attention. Hold on. My poor people. What the hell was I doing? I was just like throwing things and not looking at what I'm doing. Is my tank even in the front? What did he do? He did jump up there. That was funny. Don't die already. Jesus, that's not a good look. Maybe I do the ones in the back. Come on. All right, let's heal this time. Why is she dying? Bruh, Hexandra, why are you so squishy? All right, let's explode. No, Tira is kind of one of the big keys here. So I think I need to put some levels in my poor Hexandra. She's dying. Yeah, any of the keys you get. What the hell am I doing? Why am I losing on the tutorial? Can I improve their levels? Hexandra, can you not die? That would be great. Oh, we can. All right. Hexandra to five. I know, I didn't realize where I had her position too. She was too close. But she still shouldn't have died already. That was funny. I expected better. Oh man. To be fair, we got like one piece of gear, didn't we? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> That's better. Oh yeah, why the hell? Oh, it's because this is one of those boards where there's enemies all around you. That's why. That's why. Hexandra, you stay back there, girl. What you doing up there hanging out with them? Stay away from the enemy. I didn't even realize she was like right next to the dude. I know, I'm really bad at... This is why I never like to do serious stuff when I stream. Like, work on something that's really hard to push or that I need to focus on. Like, this is just... We're gonna have fun. We're gonna start a new account. We're gonna push in that way. But I can never do stuff, stuff that's super serious because I cannot. I get too squirreled. And it's hard to play other games where there's, like, super focus intensive because I just can't look at chat. It's like, sometimes that's what I need to do. When we're in these type of battles, I just need to not look at chat for a minute. It's fine. What do you mean, okay, you can have Gillian or Acilia to choose from? How do you have a choice? I'm not sure what you mean to choose from. You mean you pulled both of them already and you're just debating which one to build first? 
The answer is going to be don't build either one of them first, build a damage dealer. I mean, well, uh, build them, but you know. You can have two healers, sometimes it's needed. Just depends on what utility you need. I don't remember all of Jillian's kit. I'd have to look her up. I have not, I've never played with her ever. I do not remember if she has cleanse or what she has. I do not, I'd have to look. So make sure you guys always interact with these random things, even if they are not obvious because boom, you get stuff. There was no like purple dot. There was no need. It was just a little dot, dot, dot. And that's how we get extra free stuff. Three healers on ooze. Exactly. Cleansing was really important for that boss. Yeah, I mean, just pick one of them and you'll probably end up using both of them anyway. I feel like Jillian, I remember people talking very highly about Gillian Jillian. But I don't remember if Acilia actually was as exciting as we hoped. Because doesn't she... I mean, she has a full board heal, if I remember right, if they didn't change her from... I played I played with Acilia at uh, pre-CBT2. I CBT1 access, actually. She was free. Yeah, I remember that. That's what I was so obsessed with. Okay, to be fair, not gonna lie. Their original free rewards, their original daily login was a big reason of why I was interested in this game to begin with. But I was very sad that they changed it. But it is what it is. It's fine. Still great. Still bummed. I'm still bummed. But to be fair, the problem they had was... Because you got Charlatch and Jill uh, Acilia for free, everybody just used them. And that was like the answer. You know, it's like instead of having diverse teams, everyone was just using the same thing. And they wanted people to, you know, get more creative than that. But it would be nice if there was an earlier... Oh, crap. <laughs> if there was an earlier um, free login reward hero... Like, if we got Erich for free earlier, would be nice. But in this game, that's what's so good. And that's why we're doing this challenge. You don't need legendaries in this challenge. You don't need it. And that, or this game, sorry. That's the whole point of why I'm doing this. People just get caught up on the golden shiny, which you can't blame them. It's a gotcha game at the end of the day. Oh, <gasps> you know what's sad, guys? The pre registration rewards are gone. Or not pre-registration rewards. The 1 million download rewards. The 1 million download rewards. Right? Did anyone starting an account today with the challenge actually get them? Or did I just not get them because my... Accounts on the same account, email-wise. I hope not. I have played with Urzilas, and I will tell you that without... I mean, actually, he doesn't need other summoners to be good. He is a summoner, but he doesn't need them to be good. Um, I prefer... Or, okay, I should say, my Zarloth, the epic, who doesn't... It sounds like a support unit, not a DPS, did more damage than Urzilas did. You did not get them. Okay. Okay, good to know. Sorry, I did not mean pre-registration rewards. That was a slip. I meant the ones for the 1 million download where we got like a Heliolite die and some other stuff. But at least we just got something. We already have a summon. Let's go. It shouldn't matter what email address you're on because, you know, it's it's a different account completely. I mean, there was a whole bunch of promo codes that gave free stuff too. It's just timing, man.
I'm not going to stress about it anyway because I'm not using Heliolite dyes, so who cares? Who needs it? We don't need it. When my, so I'm going to tell you guys my strategy for um, Wormaro is going to be this... Gosh, damn it. Is going to be the same as it is on my main account. I don't think I'm going... And I might cha expand this a little... To, to one more or two more to the hundred cost. But I think I'm only going to purchase one stamina refresh a day with diamonds because it's not worth it. It's too expensive. Way too expensive. 50 and getting only 60. It's not even enough to give you a full refill. It should at least be a full refill when you buy with diamonds. That's a little bit disappointing. That would be a strong form of feedback I would give. At least let the dang thing, at least let it refill completely. At least let it be 120. But I would only purchase one of these a day as extra stamina. I'm not per wasting 100, then 100 more, then 200 to obtain all of our four bonus stamina. But I might, because I won't be using my worm arrow for anything else, I might decide to go with the one or, one or two of the ones at 100 cost. But I'm not 100% sure yet. I have not decided. All right, let's go back and talk to, was it 4-Bit? And give him the scale. I almost forgot to go back to 4-Bit. Um, Twitch drops. Are, you can only get the whole series of Twitch drops uh, once. So yeah, we do have Twitch drops active, guys. So one thing here, if you want to do Twitch drops, as you're so you'll see it pop up here in your inventory with that command. As you're claiming the Twitch drops, you just actually have to kind of collect them. It pops up in the chat too if you can get it at the same time. But you could also, if you haven't already connected your your uh, Twitch, you just go to Dragonair and you go co to connected here. Oh wait, I have to go to the website. You can change it. The good thing is you can actually change what's connected, but I need to get the link to Twitch Drops, which actually is in game. So if you go to notices, Twitch Drops, link account now, here. So I'm already connected. See, I'm not connected now because it logged me out, but I'm connected on my other account. But now I want to log in to... All right, let's see. Let me... I can't even read my own thing. Oh, it doesn't matter. That was just the top one. I could have just clicked that. Okay, so now you can change what your Twitch drops is actually linked to. So now I have Nytheria 5 Ivy League Gaming free to play. Nytheria 5. So I could select that one. And now that's connected. And now I can link my Twitch. And I make sure it doesn't show anything for my Twitch login. Oh, no, it doesn't. It just immediately connects it. Perfect. So now I'm logged in and easy peasy. Easy peasy. So now as I watch other streamers in the next couple days, I can get all the Twitch drop rewards for my new account. It should let us anyway. I don't think it doesn't let you twice. It lets you switch accounts. I don't see why it wouldn't let you. Unless it realizes that you've already claimed it through Twitch and it doesn't. That's a chance too. But I, I haven't tested it. We'll find out. What am I concentrating my points on? Well, I haven't got there yet, but I go intelligence and dexterity always. Um, intelligence allows you to have more crafted consumables, and consumables are huge for everything. Progressing when you're stuck, making your runs faster, trying to three-star something, farming more efficiently. Consumables are huge in this game and probably a bit underrated by most and not used by most. Oh yeah, guys, add me as a friend. Hey, we got to get all the Starlight people adding as friends. And even if you're not, feel free to add this account, I guess. If you guys want to add me as a friend, here you go. But um, Dexterity is great for stealing. It allows you to steal with a higher number and not have to buy it all the time. The problem you have with your travelers is... I mean, 
Though you shouldn't lose any battles early on. Like this. Like I did because I wasn't paying attention. You just gotta remanual it. It's not a big deal if you go into a battle, just leave the battle. I'm not sure what you mean. Alright, let's go talk. Oh, bro, I always click the chat. We gotta go talk to the other guy over here. Yep, there's the troll. I see him. There's the troll. We gotta go talk to Gulal, and um, we, he will also get to summon once we do that. Hey. Adventurer not found? What do you mean? Traveler? Why are we not engaging in battle? There we go. So I'm gonna use my little things here. The code for friends says adventure not found. I copied and pasted it. Well, you could, so, but Ivy League Gaming free to play, you could also search. That's too funny. I don't exist. Let's get the splash damage and boom. I love that the splash damage stuns them as well. That just happened. I totally forgot it did that. I haven't played Notira in a while. Totally forgot it did that. Um, I on my may uh my season zero account. Let's clear some red dots. If you guys ever want to relook at something that pops up that they teach you in game, this they have lots of information here. But yeah, I, I skipped right to using like my wild team just because I wanted to. Why not? All the people. All the people. Yay. Okay, so let's go talk to the trolls so we could summon. Yeah, there's never a reason to wait to pull uh, Starlight Die for anyone. There has been no sort of summoning event that involves getting heroes. Of course, it's something that could change in the future, but it does. That has not been something it looks like they've added that we can tell. <laughs> Speaking of summoning. Let's go. All right, if anybody is here hanging out and you haven't checked out Dragonair yet, exclamation point Dragonair, there it is. There's the link, download, get on it. Oh, the, that promo code does not work anymore. Ignore the, ignore the gift code. But we are also, we are doing the Starlight Challenge. I created this challenge. I invited a couple CCs to join me. And yeah, the, get the community to join me as well overall. So we're here playing with only Starlight Die. I'll do the summons after. Um, whatever we get as we go along, we'll try to summon. I'm probably going to only summon in five pulls just to make it easy. See what we get. I'm excited. But I love this game because it's actually one of the few games that truly lets rares be very good. So many games do not let rares truly be good. You know, they're like, kind of, sort of, not really. And there's plenty of rares that are top tier. Like Usha, and Eli, and Irina, and Enna. Or the common healer that's radiant. You got Sifris, so she is a healer and reviver. Um, she sacrifices her own HP as she heals and as she revives and does not heal herself. So if you have a second, you always want a second healer in the team with her. If you're using her in PVE or longer battles, um, I would put the artifact on her that makes her take more healing from the other people because she's going to need it. Don't do the one that makes her give more healing. She needs healing or she dies. She kills herself. 
So her best place is PvP. Arena, she's a queen. But you are going to struggle to keep her alive. Although, honestly, I found a, a ton of fun using her throughout PvE content. As long as you had a good healer like Hexandra to go with her. And Hexandra is perfectly fine to use through the end game even for as far as all the stage 9 dungeons where you need a healer. She's a pretty solid option. There's some new ones that are pretty good. Like, I feel like, I think Catherine is like a Hexandra on steroids, I guess, is what I've heard. I haven't played her yet, though. Um, Sasha, Linity, and Hale, welcome, welcome. Thank you guys for the follows. Oh, yeah, he has a decreased attack. I couldn't remember his... So when he's booked, he gets a decreased attack, big version. Nice. All right. Coyote, welcome, welcome as well. All right, we got the horn, guys. We got the horn. Let's go. BTB, welcome. So let's see. Adventure gathering, one step ahead. Perfect. So this is the confirmation. We were a little bit worried that if we used um, the same email address, we would not get the extra rewards. But we do. We do get this. Also, adventure gathering. I need to establish a bond. I'm going to establish a bond with myself. I already saved it. So if you guys are playing multiple accounts, um, grab your other bond code from your other account. I needed a third one. I only have two people on my main account. So boom, establish a bond. But go right ahead. I have a channel in my Discord. If you guys want to share each other's bond codes to all help each other out right now getting started, you can do that. Establish a bond with someone. But remember... You can't get your bond code until level six to share with other people. But if you wait until level six, you can't put in someone else's, which means you're also going to, yeah, lose out on that reward. Papa Taz. Coco, okay, it is a stretch time. I'm Ivy League Gaming free to play with the capitals where you'd expect them. <laughs> If you're trying to add me as a friend. Oof. Yeah, apparently my number doesn't work. All right, all right. This is one of the most valuable things that we're going to be needing to take advantage of, guys. So Cedra Torrent, um, the resetting of heroes. This is the fun thing. We're going to have... We have six days to play around with this. Why is it only six days? Are we late on the server? Isn't it eight days? What the hell? I thought we were day one server. These just popped. These servers did not show yesterday. But now they showed today, and yet we're two days behind? What the hell? Are we behind? I can find out by looking at the rankings. Oh, we can't see them yet. That's weird, man. Let me clear red dots. There's two new servers out every day. Yeah, but... It is six days? I thought it was eight days. ay ay ay. Okay, maybe it is six days. I'll say there was these two servers were not there yesterday. Okay, maybe I'm just remembering wrong. Okay, okay. Oh! <gasps> of 11! Guys, in the real horn in game, it's not the same as the one that we had a pre-gift event for. Keep that in mind. So the pre-gift, um, yeah, the pre-gift one was boosted rates. Oh, hell yeah. Yes, give me support. That's a good start. I'll take a new rare. I love that. All right. Oh, I realize I need to disconnect something really quick here. Let me switch. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. I'm really ex that's really good she's got i mean i don't i think i'll still be using anna but she's got the removal buff so she does i don't like this as kind of man but at least she does dispel a buff from the enemy that might be needed her aura is about accuracy which can be helpful early on i don't know that i would like max her but that might come in handy do we have enough to summon yet from all these random things we have three no, I'm not summoning yet. Go away. We're waiting until we have five. I just want to check one thing. Just want to check one thing.
All right. Sorry, guys. Just one check on something. All right. Hey, Clove. Thank you for the follow. And Clone. Hello, hello. Welcome. Yeah, I don't know what you mean by you got your traveler and that's all. I I don't know what you mean. You just walk around the map and talk to people is all I... I don't know. You could see me doing it. You just walk around and talk to people and you get other people as you go along. You just communicate. Like, you just got to walk around and go to the next area. If you haven't already got to this area, you got to get here first. The very, very, very first part when you have the traveler... The next spot it takes you is here, which you'll land, and then you'll go to Fogtown. After you after you come here, you'll pop across and go to Fogtown. So you do have to say, like, yes, I'll come with you and go across. You have to go across on the boat. Okay, I think we did everything here. Oh, wait, no, there's one thing I'm forgetting. I feel like, where's that other... Where is it? This thing down here I did not go to. I did not go all the way down. I know there's one more thing. Let me... Oh, hey, there it is. Yeah, this. I did not go all the way down. I almost missed a damn fight and reward. Thank you for the sub. I appreciate you. Welcome. Oh, you know what I should probably do before I fight is put the crap whatever gear I have on people? Yeah, you need to get on a boat. That's like the first thing that happens. I'm going to go upgrade and add some gear. So our adventurer, I mean our traveler, that's not going to help anything. Oh god. So Hexandra needs enlightenment and attack. That's not going to help much. Let's just give our tank some defense and some, or whatever that was, defense and... Wait, is he, a def is he actually defense based for his stuffs? Bruh, go away. Check the details button to see. He just scales on attack for damage. So he doesn't even really need defense. He just needs HP. He just needs survivability. HP or and or defense. It's always better to do HP because then if anything ignores defense. But because he's on the front line, I'm just going to give him whatever the hell I have. So flat HP it is. Flat HP is better. A lot better than HP percentage when your characters are below level, what, 70 I think it is? Oh, hey. Alright, so we did get a share in the Discord, guys. Gotta love that they're supporting. What just happened? I am a lizard. Johnny, thank you for the follow. And Acove, thank you for gifting five subs. Appreciate it. Welcome. Welcome, everybody hanging out. This is a party already. So, in, if you want to know what anything means here, you just click. Click right into this box and it pops it up. Enlightenment affects derivative damage or directly becomes the coefficient of some skills. Increases the hero's derivative damage by 0.0%. As, as it gets higher, you'll increase... Obviously, I have no enlightenment on my character right now. Um, so, derivative damage generated by a specific skill gains an enlightenment bonus. So you're going to see deals derived damage. Um, scales with enlightenment. So here's an example. Hexandra is a healer. Her heals, when you click the little details button, she heals by, based on attack and enlightenment. So just because she's a healer, that doesn't mean go putting some HP on her. That's going to do nothing except keep her alive and she's not going to heal. So this is where you need enlightenment is the key. For someone like Hexandra with that heal, this is a bigger single target heal. And her AoE heal is based on the target's max HP, so unfortunately you can't really help that. But if you want this single target heal that happens quite frequently, it can be a pretty nice big heal that's a bonus. Um, 
You kind of got to go attack and enlightenment. Although I could see maybe just going enlightenment plus HP on her for the sake of survivability. If you're struggling keeping people, keeping her alive. But this HP is based on the target, so unfortunately not hers. But some people will say like deals, yeah, deals derive damage, blah, blah, blah. And that's the kind of people that need a ton of enlightenment. I wonder if I should use her instead. We don't need to buff debuffs yet. Oh, wait, bro. I'm wondering what I'm going to do. I'm not going to know until we get more die. I guess I just keep rolling with whatever for now. And then I see what happens with my first five pull or two in case anyone sticks out to me. We'll see. All right, let's go. Let's go. I can't wait to see what my first summons are. I just want to dive right in there and see who we're going to build a team around. I certainly could ju The last season was really easy because they give you all these icy and poison heroes and ice and poison was what synergized last season. So that made it really, really easy building a team because you could literally just use the free to play people, which you still can. You only need three of a synergy, so I could, I could take no tier. I, I mean, I, right now I do have three of a synergy. I have the adventurer at fire, and no Tira and Hexandra. That's creating the three-person elemental like affinity bonus, and the other two are kind of just extra, which is fine. That's gonna be the case a lot. A lot of times you're gonna have like a few DPS that are part of the affinity that you're trying to you know, make happen. And then you're going to have a couple people that are on the side just to be support or a tank that don't need to be part of that affinity per se. If it's, you know, it's all about survivability and healing and like Hexandra is going to be my healer probably. No matter what the team is, because I just need a healer and we're going to have limited options. Yeah, we get Horus for free, so I will definitely be using him if I don't get like a Furboth, or actually there's a couple people I would really love. Um, the Radiant version of Furboth is... Where is that dude? This guy, Garius. He's like the Radiant version of Furboth, but potentially better because he's got an AoE heal across the whole board. But he's with Radiant. So if I went Radiant, I would go Radiant and Lightning as the synergy. He's someone I would really want as a tank, or obviously... Oh, not, that's not Furboth. That is, I got that guy on my main account. He's amazing. Furboth is kind of the OP perfect tank. I prefer either one of them over Horus personally because I like the utility of the heals much better. All right, so that's everything. We did everything in this board, I think. Let's go now. Let's go and destroy Unstill Realm's magic seal and fight some people on the way out. Um, no, there's also something called skill haste in this game. There's also skill haste. So also pay attention with your positioning, how people heal. Like she heals in this diamond shape. So you want to make sure that you keep your people grouped in a way that's going to allow them to all get healed. Ideally. The how's the game? I mean, I've played this before. I already knew I liked this game a lot. That's why I was excited for Global. I already loved the game. I think it's amazing so far. It has not disappointed me. Some people get annoyed by the time gating, but personally, I like it because it forces me to stop in human and like, I don't know. I kind of, I kind of like being forced to stop. I know this sounds weird, but it's true. Like, I don't, I don't want to feel like I have to grind this game for 12 hours a day every day. Now, today is day one. Am I going to play this account all day until I hit the level cap? Yes, I am, because that's what I do on day one. But you know what? We got a human, too. I want to watch The Walking Dead in the new One Piece uh, thing on Netflix. And I want to play the other game that I play, too. Oh, and I have, you know, I'm, I'm pregnant. What about when the baby comes? Do I want a game that sucks up my whole time? It makes me feel like I am missing out if I have to play more than an hour or two. No, I don't want that. This is perfect for that feeling. And oh, the graphics are pretty. They're smooth. They're so smooth. I don't remember looking so smooth. It's different. 
Hey, Tycho. Thank you for the follow. Oh, yeah. Let me give a shout out here to Goldie. I don't think I gave you one yet. We also had Clone in here. Welcome, welcome. Everybody's been playing Dragonair. Clone, are you going to play Dragonair or not? Because I know you already played it. I don't think you... I mean, it's different. Beta was different, too. It's like, you know, people only half-ass play during a beta. I only half-ass play during the beta. Now it's time to take it seriously. I am actually going to heal when they're more than half health. Okay, so let's put Pushy Hexandra in the middle. Oh, nice. Okay. You did start a new one. That's great. I like it. I'm having so much fun on my other account. My intent was not to play my other account anymore and only play this account. But I love my other account so much because I'm playing with Flora. Guys, I was 33 global on my server for guild boss, for vortex damage. I felt like such a kraken. And I'm in a kraken guild and I was like number three. I'm like, what? I feel like a kraken on that account. It's fun. It's fun to feel like a kraken. And this is the exact opposite. That's why it's perfect. This is the... I'm not going to play any legendaries except Erich whenever the hell we get him. If I even do a wild team. But if I don't, I won't be using him at all. Which I probably will purposefully try not to do a wild team. Unless I build a wild team around Erich with the whole point of showing people how to. But I feel like if you get tunnel on, that's like a cheat code. So, But it's such a fun extreme to have my main... My... CB, our season zero account feels so crackeny. So what server? I am on uh, Nytheria 5. It should be pinned, right? Is it pinned in the chat, guys? It's not showing for me, but it was pinned before, but I don't see it anymore. You pulled 18 Heliolite and no Lego yet? Oh gosh. I feel like there's usually a bit of beginner's luck where people seem to get a Lego instantly on their first five pull. Yeah, why did it not? Okay, so server equals Nytheria 5. Hold on. I can't auto yet. Can I? Nope. Yeah, yeah, let's heal. Okay, let me pin that again. Pin this message. Oh, I didn't have it the whole time. I set it for only 20 minutes accidentally. That explains it. Oops. I'm so gonna die and we have to redo this battle. <laughs> I wasn't looking. This ends here. Thank you for the follow. Also, Frosty and li Lil... Wait. L-I-W-C for work. I don't know the, how to pronounce that. But thank you guys for the follow. <laughs> yeah, it's really fun. So people talk so much about um, free-to-play versus pay-to-win and stuff, right? But at the end of the day... Like, I actually think this game is the most free-to-play friendly because the epics and leg or sorry, epics and rares are genuinely good. And you can truly play the game free-to-play versus having to summon legendaries to feel like you can progress. That's not true in this game. So when people call this game pay to win, it's just because they're bitter about summons and not having good luck. But really, it's the most free-to-play friendly out of probably every game I've played because they really do give rares really good kits sometimes. Like, some of the rares are insane. Ask anyone that's really played an Usha with a Frost team. Or me, I played Eli last season, and he was my very first level 100, a rare. Like, it's it's different, and I really, I really like that about the game, of course. That's why, that's why I wanted to do this in the first place. 
You got the child of chaos battle already? Yeah, I'm slow. This is what happens when I stream. There's always distractions. I'll catch up later, though. I can't believe you did the child of chaos battle already. That's fast. You were, you were good. Yeah, IMR was just slow progression overall. Where here, I feel like it's pretty fast. If you choose the right things, like the very f Oh wait, I'm at Child of Chaos almost. We're getting there, we're getting there. I thought this took a lot longer, but that's because I was really, really doing a lot of distractions on the very first live stream I did. Oh, the graphics are beautiful. Ah. Oops, wrong one. I can't believe I'm actually using these potions, but my Hexandra's not the best healer right now. We're gonna get to that Child of Chaos battle here soon. First, we gotta fight the Voreshes. I'm looking forward to it. I really hope I pull some different people. But by different, I actually know. I hope I pull the same person I got, like I said, on my... On my uh, CBT account, I got Zar uh, Zarloth. And I was very impressed with his damage. He did more damage than my legendary when he had worse gear than the legendary. So I was quite shocked by his DPS. Because a lot of the heroes in this game are labeled as support, but they actually pack a serious punch and you wouldn't expect it. So I'm... You, what do you mean you're lost? How are you lost? You can't really be lost in this game. How are you lost? Did you get on the boat? You just wander around and talk to people. It's a tiny map. You can only wander so far. It may be open world, but it's a very limited open world. It's not a true sandbox. It's a very limited open world. You can't really... You can only go so far. If you're having trouble finding stuff, you could actually check on my YouTube. I'll show you real quick. If you really want to see like where I walked and stuff like that, and you're like just frustrated with that, or you're stuck in a silly place, on my YouTube here, if you go to my videos, I have a actual gameplay and 100 summons day one. So this is my full. In here, we're gonna start. This is my full one day one of playing. So you can literally see like exactly where I went. If you need to skip around to where you are. And after character creation, after whatever, if you want to see where I walk to find stuff, you can check out that video right here. If anyone gets stuck in a silly spot. You really can't get stuck, though. I'm sorry, you can't. The board is tiny. Like, just we'll keep walking and click stuff. Click stuff. If you only have your traveler, then you didn't get very far, and you do, I don't think you- you didn't even get on the boat yet. You gotta get on the boat. You gotta do the battle with only your traveler, that is what happens first. At first you only have the traveler for a couple of fights, that is true. Wait, why is it saying we're going to the Fountain and her planner? That's the name of my other server. Okay, I guess that's the name of this, just in general. I thought it was a spice server name. Oh yeah, because it's true, we're not going to Nytheria. <laughs> not yet. Well, we're, we will, but not yet. Alright, let's go. Yeah, so when it comes to the... You're going to walk... Just walk around the map you're in, if you're stuck. Everywhere. Just walk around, click every little thing. And you should come to this little dock right here. And over by the dock is where you get on the boat and you leave with Notira. There's really only so much you can click, so... I don't know, unfortunately, how else to suggest it. <laughs> this is so pretty. I love this Child of Chaos series. Ah! I just put the video out because I think it's such a beautiful battle. And we really need to, like, be able to watch it again and appreciate the graphics. It's so pretty. You got Arlo, Epi Ar, Usha, and Epic Devrick. You got Usha already, nice. Oh man.
And I don't think you can really lose these battles because it's part of the story, guys. So don't stress too much. Don't stress too much. So many of their kits I get confused. I have to re-look re at, though. I can't remember which one. De there, I, Deverick sound... I think I remember him sounding good. That name sounds familiar, but I can't remember his kit. I get them confused with so many others until I've played a little bit more to remember. Or have to look them up like, oh yeah, that guy. Because there's so many new characters this season. They added like 80 new characters. Oh, you can lose this battle? Oh, okay. But the Child of Chaos one, you can't, right? The actual child part, you can't. I don't think it's possible, right? I've, I've been down to where it looks like you have no health, but then you still beat it. <laughs> You can keep doing the same battle over and over again. You don't get... You don't get stuck because of losing a battle. You can always do the new battles over again. So if we want... um, If we want to challenge this, you cannot use Heliolite Die. That, no. That's the whole point. The whole point is for the entire season... To not pull a single Heliolite die. That is the whole point. <laughs> that's that's the fun of it. But that's... Oh, look at the graphics. I love this so much. It's so gorgeous. Holy cow. Can we please... F developers, staff, if you are watching, let us fight this guy. Make him a weekly boss. Somehow. I don't care how. Make it happen. He's so cool. We want to fight him every week. Right? This is not the most beautiful, like, boss fight ever. He's gorgeous. The graph They did such a good job with the graphics of it. I want to fight him for real. Make him- Oh, maybe he could reappear in the underground world. Although I know it's the other guy that looks like Zarloth, but make him come back and let us fight him. Or do we defeat the Child of Chaos so he's dead? I don't know. <laughs> He's just so cool. It's like the Vortex fight looks gorgeous. The graphics are so good. Games versus games. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Yeah, if anyone wants to join us for the Starlight Challenge, it's open to everybody we're just we're hoping the community gets involved and the idea is for you guys to create a new account starting today uh you can join the same server as us so we could all be in the same alliance and yeah we're good we have challenges we have mission we have challenges within the challenge we have missions that if you complete them first we'll check off each one you can only win once uh you get free stuff pretty much and by free stuff, we mean Starlight Die, because that's what this challenge is all about. And you will probably summon a bunch of commons in one rare, but that's going to happen sometimes. <laughs> so the funny part is Starlight Die. Epics to Starlight Die are legendaries to Heliolite Die. Dr. Matt, you're going to play again? Clone, well, you're going to play with the free-to-play? Yes, let's go! So in my Discord, guys, I'll show you after this fight's over. I should be not distracted because he looks so cool. All right. But. Exactly. While you are while you can't progress anything, on if you started yesterday, you're stuck, right? We're stuck. You can't do anything today. You can get to level 23. And you could ascend your characters if you have the resources. You could farm the resources and then you run out of stamina and you can't really do anything today. So you might as well start a new free-to-play series with me and have some fun. Hey, three. We could summon now, but not the Helio I die. Okay, so my Discord, exclamation point Discord, is the hub for this challenge. And exclamation point Dragonair, if you haven't already installed the game, there's the install link. All the links. Um, So here in my Discord... So number one, guys, if you if you get annoyed by people adding everyone and all that kind of stuff or other chats, if you don't play Watcher of Realms, go here. 
Go to mute category until I get on. Until I turn it on, mute it. Minimize it. You'll never notice it again. Same thing with anything. You don't care about the real life chat. You don't want to care hear about my funny pregnancy updates of my little baby bump growing or us having really silly gamer life behind the scenes. Mute it. I don't care. Don't judge you. But here is the Dragonair section. So this is a general Dragonair chat. And then there is a section for Starlight Challenge. So this is where the challenge rules are. If you want to read through the rules, just to reiterate what I've said earlier, or if you missed us talking about the rules, I also will have the Alliance information here for how to enter. And then we will have an Alliance chat that is only for people tagged within the challenge and the Alliance. Um, and then the Starlight chat's just open for everybody to talk. This is where you guys are going to let me know, hey, like, I'm in. Let me join the Alliance. Here's my name, whatever. Starlight missions are going to be the fun part. This is the challenges. And luckily, the staff has worked with me to, number one, help promote the game. They did announce us in the official Discord. I'm not sure if they announced it anywhere else, but yeah. Um, Starlight, uh, Starlight missions here are kind of the fun challenges of, like, the first person to... Uh, three star goblin one stage five. They're all the stage, the domain stage two. Get two million damage on vortex. That's going to be the challenges. And whoever wins those gets uh, a, a gift code. It's a giveaway code, a promo code for, that's a one time use just for you. And there'll be a mission submission here as well. And the, some, the starlight luck here is for you guys to share your fun summons that you get along the way. And if you have any challenge ideas, for future missions, as we get on to another... So I think we're going to try to do this. Like, as all of those missions are gone, I'm going to request to get some more codes to continue the mission so we could keep the fun going and keep the interaction going. So if you guys have fun ideas for challenges for people, have goals to hit, that's going to be where that goes. And then... Oh, wait. I should probably say that we're live now. Live now! I mean, you guys already know this. You're here. But, hey... And yeah, I have considered doing the whole roles thing where if you click it, you could only see certain things. But what I don't like about that is then you don't necessarily see when I add a new game or I guess it could be at everybody or I don't know. Like, I, I feel like I have to figure out a way to do that that keeps people... I want people to see that there's other chats at the same time. So it's kind of weird. It's a little bit hard for me to decide how to do it because I want people to be interested in the other games we play. That's kind of hard to figure out. I love this little intro. So if anybody skipped through your Child of Chaos fight, wants to rewatch this whole little lore series here, which has really cool audio that I turned off for this video right now, we turned it off. Um, I have this on a YouTube video that I just posted today. My Child of Chaos fight video that I just put out today on YouTube has this ending lore. So if you want to relearn about the what the silent gods really are that's kind of this section of lore which is pretty cool honestly you can set the channel to have the all roll where they can see and auto assign yeah yeah i've got to figure that out i know i could i mean i i want to do it but at the same time like when you set those up sometimes then the rest of the discord disappears like odd one just set his up with buttons so like he made a start here, where if you want the raid channels, you click here. If you want the Dragoner channels, you click here. But then when he did that, everything locked for people. So people that are not Discord savvy are going to be like, where'd all the channels go? You know, I don't want that. But maybe I do. I don't know. I, I definitely want to uh, please the people too. If you guys are like, I really don't want to see your announcement. But then again, people need to learn how to use Discord if you're on Discord. If you don't want to see my announcements about Dragonair... Or sorry, we're playing Dragoner. If you don't care about Watcher, just mute it. It's that simple. If you don't want my at everyone announcements for my YouTube videos because it combines two games, mute it. And then I always post in both sections down here too. So then you could just follow the one section that you care about either way. So either way, I try to just encourage people to learn how to use the tools at the same time. <laughs> it's like it's available if people come don't want to see it then mute it there's a button for that that's kind of my answer if anyone complains be like yeah you can turn that off you have the power don't complain to me you have the power <laughs> sometimes people just like to complain but they don't realize like oh it's in your hands not only mine 
<laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Mickey, James, Ed, who is Negoro, Animonesia, Dark Rao. Thank you guys for follows. Let's go. So I chose the lizard folk, which actually gives me more strength. I don't want strength. Strength is pointless. You don't want strength. Um, why do I have nothing yet? Oh, we haven't actually got the things yet, bruh. When I shoot, when we do get the things to actually improve this, <laughs> um, I will go intelligence and dexterity for sake of cooking and stealing. Cooking is important. You can get bonus stuff that's really cool. All right, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Oh, she's cool. I love her. The dark lady. You don't need charisma. It doesn't really... Like, that's like the third thing. Technically, I would say... No, the actor is definitely not the best. Archaeologist or... Honestly, I really liked... um. I really liked being a thief because you didn't need to have keys to unlock most chests. Where I felt like there were more times you needed keys than I remember. But maybe that was just remembering it wrong. But archaeologist is going to give you better intelligence to start with. You can... <laughs> yeah, you have to redo it. But trust us, any other content creator that has played before will tell you intelligence is the number one thing. Because you cooking and being able to get big resources, unless you're a fucking Kraken and you have every top tier legendary in the game and you don't care about boosting yourself because your characters already do and you're like an easy clap, you're gonna need consumables. They really do make a big difference. And hell, even those people that have the crazy legendaries, they're gonna help you to like three star stuff early on and even later game as well. So like here, intellig uh, archeologist for intelligence, thief for dexterity. I like because this gives to wisdom and intelligence. I really, I prefer wisdom. To be fair, I think charisma is my like fourth choice. I would go intelligence, dexterity, wisdom, then charisma. But we're gonna go. How much? Oh. I really wanna be able to steal. Hmm. Maybe I. Can I balance this to where I can get two for both? No. Okay, I can only get a roll of plus one here. I could just go straight to the plus three, which helps. Now, you know what? Let's just stick to the plus two. Just before getting to plus three. So next time I go... All right, we're gonna... I'm gonna build those two. I'm not gonna go all in on one. I'm kind of building those two. Oh, we could summon him. We have to summon him. Oh, hey. Purple, purple, purple. We don't want to see gold. We want to see purple. And purple's my favorite color, if you haven't already noticed, by most of my things. All right. We get to summon. Please tell me I have ten. Oh, I have nine. We're going to only do five. We're going to wait till we get one more. <laughs> We're going to wait till we get one more. Yes, Hex and Lassier in the other game seem amazing. I want both of them and I might spend lots of money to make it happen. I mean, not lots of money. I, I can't afford it, but whatever within my means. Whatever is within my means to know that at least the YouTube video that I create will cover the cost of it. That's my answer. Oh, wait, can I go over here first and grab the other stuff? Yeah. There's nothing over here, but it is... I want to grab any resources that I missed. There we go. We can't go any further. 
Always overexplore, guys. You might miss some important chests. Oh, I don't care about the one. I just almost have two ten pull or two five pulls. How do you join the Starlight Challenge? Um, just create a new account. You can start with us on Etheria 5 and just only pull Starlight Dive. But yeah, you'd probably want, you'd want to join the Discord to be part of the community and to see the challenges to be part. In order to claim the rules, you need to be in the Discord. Like if, or the, sorry, the rules, the missions. So I have missions here that if whoever completes those first, you can only complete one out of each section first though like and claim a reward only only one time you can win um but then this is mission submission you have to submit here for that and i have all the promo codes to give you guys um this is going to be where if you're in if you join our alliance this is going to be our alliance channel not that in-game crap i'm not using in-game conversation stuff it's just too it's no it doesn't hold on to information long enough um and yeah, this is just kind of where the rules are. The info is we'll post our YouTube videos when we're live, all the stuff. This will be the hub for everything. So the Discord's kind of the hub. But yeah, when you guys, when we get to the point where we can join guilds, I will accept people into the guild and... But I'm only accepting people into the guild that I know are actually doing the challenge. For real, for real. And I also need you to be in the Discord. Alliance must be in the Discord. Because that's how we talk and plan stuff. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know. I just was clicking on it. You can see when you do it how many it goes up or down. I don't know if it's every two or every three points. I don't know. I was just clicking. I didn't count. I wasn't paying that much attention. You can see the roll of what it does, though. Like, you can click and see it's going to roll a two more, plus two, or a plus three, or a plus four. I think plus four is the max. <laughs> Let's go. I gotta get better with my fast clicking. We need to go, go, go. We need to grind. Ah. Okay. Continue. We helped. Uh, we helped Emerald. 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 Just need one more die, and then we're doing two five pulls. I love how we get to be excited about Starlight Die. That's the fun. That is the fun. Who needs a Heliolite Die? Yeah, this is not a no legendaries challenge, so you can pull your Heliolite Die and get more epics and just not use the legendaries. That is not allowed. It is not part of this. Just to be clear. It's a don't touch your Heliolite Die. Oh gosh, I think I need to get put some levels on people. We have- we're like all dead. I don't want to overly level people until I... Um... Summon though. So you know what, let's wait. Because I might- my summons could change who I choose to build. <laughs> why not you can reset them what do you mean why not reset what and you can reset what what are you talking about super why not what because I'm literally about to summon in like two minutes there's no point I'm gonna summon in two minutes like I'm just waiting for one more die there's no wait. I'm not wasting my efforts. We just need one more die, which we'll get by just doing stuff. I'm just waiting for a ten pull. 
<laughs> I don't want to. I'm not. I'm not gonna go crazy. That crazy with min maxing right now. As long as we can. As long as we're not dying in our battles, we're fine. We gotta help him. We have to get the polygar. Blah 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 blah. I said ten poles, didn't I? I keep. It's so hard not to say ten pole because every other game uses ten poles, right? It's so weird. I'll always say ten pole. I didn't get one, did I? Did I miss? No. All right, come on. Come on, side quest. Give me stuff. Let's go. Oh, yeah, we have to get the flute. I remember that. All right. Yes, we'll accept your side quest request. Side quest request. It's so hard not to like call things their old ways too. Like how gonna I will forever use like raid terms because that was my first game, you know? Yeah. Polygar. Poku and Zen, thank you guys for the follows. Welcome everybody. No, I did not play Summoner's War. Raid was my first. Raid was my first of that type. I played like Clash of Clans casually and some other and like some of the Walking Dead games, but. Raid is my OG. Hey, Stabob. What's up? Of course, I am very aware of Summoner's War being the real OG, right? I'm very aware. And then everybody copied each other ever since. <laughs> Nothing's original anymore. But actually, that's part of what this game is fun. What makes this game so fun is that it does feel different. It doesn't feel like literally every other game. Like there's lots, there's plenty of elements that are a very original feeling. That's part of what makes it nice. Hold on, we gotta get Polygar first. Come on, I just need one more summon game. Give me something. Give me a chest with a die in it. Let me do two five pulls. All I want. <laughs> oh man. Two five pulls, come on. You know you can do it. If only we had a promo code working. Or two or three or four or five. I'm so that's all I want to know is like I wanna I wanna have like one character to be like, yes, okay. I'm gonna build around that character. You had eleven by the how? How? What did I miss? Did I miss a chest? Or something, or two or five. You only got one thing in the mailbox, right? You didn't get extra in the mailbox, did you? I also have not done Twitch drops. If you're doing Twitch drops, I don't have the one million award reward. Yeah, the one million reward, I do not have, which is a big bummer. So this girl, we did not trust her last time. So this time we're going to trust her. Why not? It's like we're going to try we're going to help you, but we're not going to let the other dude die. I mean, I Yeah, I got the battle pass one. You didn't get the 1 million reward in the inbox. There's only one thing, right? Just this. Oh, bro, I didn't collect it. That's still only one. So maybe I just missed one chest or there was some sort of different reward. 
I didn't collect it. Okay, well, we have a temple now. All right, summons! Dr. Wild, thank you for the prime sub. Appreciate it, guys. So, we are ignoring all future Heliolite die. All worm marrow will only be used for once a day uh, stamina, bit cost of 50 replenish, and possibly buy in legendary books, scrolls, when I get, so, uh, if we get Utor and he's worth it. Doesn't sound great though, I'm not sure yet. Um, from <laughs> the special event that's gonna come, or when we get Erich from the story, I might buy books for them. Other than that, this worm is just gonna sit here and collect, and maybe next season I'll turn it all into Heliolite Die and go crazy. I guess we'll find out. Zarloth is amazing. I played him and I love him so much. So speaking of Zarloth, as you have perfect timing and we're about to summon, my most wanted summon is actually Zarloth. That's which epic I want most because I played him on my Season 0 account, but I did switch back to my fire team with Flora. Um, so I love to play him on this account as the main DPS. He hits really hard. And he surprised me with the damage. All right, let's see if we can get an epic right away. Yes, two epics in one. Yes, 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 yes. Two epics in my first five pull. And Eli. And Eli. And Eli. I think I got a poison team. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about my poison team? <laughs> we got Eli. I forgot his name already, not gonna lie. The other, the guy in the middle. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was more realistic. And a Hexandra dupe. Oh, come on, just give me a different rare at least. All right, Cyphrus is very good. I know Cyphrus, but I literally don't know the name of the other guy. I'm still learning all the names because... Oh, Horus! He's gonna be so good! Oh, yes! Holy poison, team! Well, we know what we're going. Fire and poison it is. Let's go. Fire and poison it is. Fire and poison it. He's good. When a hero deals damage to an enemy under poison, every stack of poison on the enemy increases 1% of crit rate of this damage. Uh, it hurls a poison bomb to deal poison damage to enemies within range with a 50% chance of inflicting... Three stacks of poison for 15 seconds. We have an AoE on a battle skill. Does this not already sound like a great goblin team? Hell yes. And here we go. Goblin it is. Eli and this guy are going to slay. And Notira. I'm going to use all three. Cyphrus? Wait, that's too many people. Maybe I will not use Notira. I don't know. I'll probably bench Notira for Eli again. But, all right. Poison damage, AoE, poison explosion. We have a poison exploder. We have Eli. We have Cyphrus to be a healer and a reviver. Although, like I said, she's gonna die on her own. But luckily, we have a Hexendra. Perfect. I'm excited. Let's go. Eli cannot be my first level 100 again, though. That would be like cheating. I did that already last season. Oh, God. I didn't want to do the same thing as I did last season. But it could change, you know, we have... I know, everyone... Uh, Eli was literally my first level 100 last season. I did not want to play him this season. I mean, I don't have to. I could skip him and use Notira instead just to be different. But I'd be stupid. He's really good. Yeah, Cyphrus is very good, but it's more... A, she's a PvP hero. She's who you put in your arena when you can use the special stuff to, like, level up. Anybody, you know, like anyone could be the level. You you could use Cypress to be a super clutch. She's clutch in arena. Oh my god. Popping back up your DPS that just died to go nuke somebody. Furboth. You wouldn't use Horus at no Furboth by far. Eli hits hard. He's very good. If you guys, let me show you guys something. I'm gonna show you. Where's my OBS recordings? So right before global, the Let's see, the 15th or 16th. I'm going to show you guys why the people that we stick out, or we say stick out as rares, really do stick out. 
Where is my thing? I think I sent it to Odd One. Let's see. Where's the video? It's got to be here. Right before Global. Um, uh, Maybe it was the 14th. 15th. Come on. One second. I have it. I swear. 16th? No. Where is it? I'm scrolling in my conversation with Odd One because this is worth showing. This is worth showing. Pause. Oh, I, I did screenshots. That's right. I did screenshots and I sent it to him. So I did have a video. I have a video somewhere. I don't know where the screenshots came from, but I hope I didn't accidentally delete the video. But end game stages, guys. We're talking um, end game stages. Let me pull up my folder so these are bigger because this is silly. Let me try to show you this really small. way too silly me trying to show that super small okay yep here we go okay so full screen let's go these are the end game as far as farming your resources go not talking about after other world exploration that's a whole nother set of stuff but i went through and i screenshot stuff so grave of venom these are teams with legendaries but who do you see in there carrion megan as supports rares usha a rare Next, this is no legendary teams. Furboth, Voresh, Ekis, Hexandra, in the hardest stages of Grave of Venom. Why is the blue healer so good? Because she heals based on enlightenment and it scales very well with her single target. And she also dispels a debuff, which comes in handy, having multiple people that do that. Uh, the server we are on for my free-to-play series, which is, we're, we're, um, right now we're on Nytheria 5. But you can see, there's an Eli. There's an Eli, there's an Usha. It is pinned, yes. So, Grave of Venom 9, Grave of Venom, a curse of, sorry, Grave of Curse 9. Who is here? Eli, Usha, Hexandra, Voresh, Furboth, again. Sifris, my the girl I just got. I used her last season. Actually, I used her all season last time. I don't think she's bad. She's just weird. Um, we could skip. I would say we skip some of these, but who do you still see in these legendary teams? Carion, a rare. Hexandra, a rare. No, I'm not saying use these teams. Obviously, I'm very the the synergies are different now. But the point is, these heroes are viable in these dungeons they're gonna synergize with different heroes sure but it's not gonna be like it doesn't work anymore it's still gonna work just different synergy you're just gonna have the poisoners with a fire and that could be the adventurer that could be whatever it could be a different aoe damage dealer like it's like so we have brody here you have dane dane is used in a lot of these too I don't remember which one it was that I saw Dane in. But like the f ice and poison was the synergy last season. So of course it's going to be different. But like Grave of Rot, you need to cleanse debuffs. You see the all of these no legendary teams with Enna? Enna, she's not part of this synergy. It's a mix, Jira. Who cares? You don't always need the five synergy. I'm already seeing people way too stuck up on the idea of needing five, five, five. You don't need five. You need to fulfill a role. And even the hardest stages in one of the dungeons here, it's a bunch of rares, a couple epics, and mixed synergy. As long as you have at least three of where your DPS is, you're good. But the support walls can just fulfill a role. And in this case, Ekis and uh, Enna are both cleansers. Heretical Ruins very can be very hard. Here we go again. Same people. The sa it just shows that they're very good. Even hell, an Otira at the bottom. Notira, Vidimir, an epic. Seeing lots of Durzak. Ancient Battlefield, very difficult. Endgame teams with Gardas, who's this epic that nobody liked. I hated him. I pulled him on my uh, first season, sorry, season zero account. I thought he was terrible. Here he is in the last stage of one of the hardest dungeons in the game. It's It just shows you that you don't need legendaries to complete 
the content. That's what I want to show you guys, and that's how, you know, people like Eli and Hexandra and Usha show up here. That's what's great. And AoE is really good for Grave of Venom, um, but he's also going to be great for clearing, like, even just, whatchamacallit, Goblin. But Hexandra, people use literally the whole season, so it's kind of fun. I think I'm going to choose this guy, though. Let's go with him. He's new for me. Let's go. I don't want to go... Cr okay, I want to build a little bit evenly because we need everyone to survive. So I think I'm going to go with this guy first. Let's take him to 15. My adventurer is probably going to be the first person I take to the highest level, though, overall. Because they're going to be the swing character between everything. As you're farming the higher stages, like stage three, you really need to farm as fast as you can of the domains to get the better rewards to get people past level 70. And you can't do that with fire. Oh god, why am I choosing fire and poison again? Both of my accounts are going to be fire and poison. No. I might change this. I honestly... Okay, here's what I... I hope I get someone else that makes me not use fire and poison. <laughs> because I'm using fire and poison as my main synergy on my... Season 0 account right now. Although that's a wild team where this is a poison team, so it's still different. But farming the fire stuff in the fire domain is just brutal because you really need to survive the nukes from that boss or cleanse. So we're going to have to hope we get an Enna sooner rather than later. We'll see. I really, really do hope I get something different, though. I kind of want to feel like I'm doing something different this season. The only problem is I don't really have a tank for this synergy. So I will have to use Horus if I don't get Furboth, probably. One, two, three. Um, four, and then Horus. Yeah, I think that's going to be my team for now. And then when I need another um, healer, I could throw her in. Oh god, I don't know. It's going to be interesting, guys. It's going to be interesting. Definitely going to be interesting. I feel silly if I don't use Eli in this. I kind of have to. I'm going to use Eli. For now. Let's just take him to 10 with the others. We want options. So poison, poison team it is. With him and Eli as the main sources of poison. Sources if I could talk. I don't know if I'm going to use Notira like I said. But I might for now. We don't have a tank, so we need a tank, so this guy's just going to have to be chilling. Yeah, we're just going to have to use him as a tank. It is what it is. All right, let's throw some gear on people. Accuracy for the poison, sure. There's no attack, but okay. Oh, God. Let's take things to level... F Wait, you know what? Let's just take things to level 8. Let's give him some attack that way. All right, good enough. I'm not going to put gear on everybody right now. We'll be fine. Alexandra could use... I really need some... It's not going to help without any enlightenment. I'm going to give her the attack for the sake of her heal. With her, her battle skill. Okay. Now we're at least a little bit more equipped to do some battles and not die instantly. I'm curious. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what else I get, but a part of me is, like, not wanting to do the same synergy because I know how hard farming that domain is with the same one. Like, you can't farm the domain with your team. Unless it's ice because it's easy. But you can power through it, but not not fire. Fire really needs the specific rolls. Ugh. I did not want poison and fire. But I can't complain. That's a fun hero to get. I think... I'm really curious about Horus. I guess this will be my way to test him out. Okay. Let's go get this to Emerald. Brianna and Lovan, thank you guys for the follow. Also, Sudan and Teag as well. Welcome. I want to get to where I have a guild, of course. We have lots to do. 
But my first set of summons, I don't know. Oh, I'm, I can't believe I got two epics in one five pull, though. That's like getting... That's a, guys, that's the same thing as getting two legendaries in one five pull with the other summons. I No, I think you can open the guild... Oh, is it... No, you can open it today. You just don't... I think you could open it day one. You just don't get Vortex until day two. Right? I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure I joined a guild right away. But we couldn't do Vortex until the second day. Yeah, I think so. I think we get it. We'll find out. Hey, we get the journal now. Let's go. Commissions. Yes. Oh, hey. Summons. Yes. Let's go. Yeah, rates are the same if you pull singles or five pulls. You're guaranteed an epic every seven pulls, actually. The, the, with the, that's the difference. The pity is nicer with these. So every seven. Oh, wait, why doesn't, or did it say that? Oh, wait, wait rare hero. 35th. Oh, it's this one. This one, you're guaranteed an epic every seven. This one, you're guaranteed the same pity. A an epic every 35. The pity is the same. Sorry, I was seven. I was like, my brain was like, wait, that's... I'm going to the Heliolite die. Yep, yep. But the pit, it all like lines up pretty fun. Yeah. You can see the details down here. It's just really annoying because they're always hidden behind all this stuff. Which drives me crazy. It's fine. All right. Oh, I like that. St we should. I should be Starlight Ivy. Starlight Neva. I like that. Should I change my name? You know what? I kind of like that. I like that. Starlight. How can I change my name? Free for the first one. Starlight Ivy Lee. Gaming. Starlight Ivy Lee. I believe G. Yes. I'm I believe G. I already added my own bond, but if anybody's looking for bonds to you don't have if you don't have another account and you're looking for bonds, guys, go on into that Discord. Grab someone's bond code. Now everyone rename for Starlight. I know, right? I like that. That's fun. You don't have to. I don't need protection. I'm going to protect you. Bruh, I didn't click. Go away. Did I go back over here? Oh, wait. We can't really do much over here now, can we? I remember we get... Oh, see? This is what I get. I almost didn't explore, guys. I almost did not fully explore. That's gated. I know that. Bruh, I almost didn't fully explore. Okay, close enough. I guess we'll have to go over there eventually anyway. But still. Every little thing. I don't want to miss stuff. Alright, I already got the stuff over there that was by the quest. Now let's go. I definitely don't want to miss chests. Sometimes there's some pretty darn good stuff in those chests. Let's go, let's go. Hey. I did summon and I got poisoners. I got three poisoners and one five pull. So I was like, okay, I guess I'm making a poison team for now. The good thing is we have six days to change our mind. Depending on our other pulls. So this is what I'm going to roll with for now. And if I want to change my mind, we'll, we'll do that. <laughs> I'm just not going to book everybody. So keep in mind, guys, when it comes to the reset, um, you cannot reset your books. Hey, we have full auto in two times now as well. Yes, let's go. All right, now I need to make more tea.
I'm excited to grind now. Let's go, let's go. Clickety, clickety, click. I'm going to try to be as quick and efficient as I can. I failed to do that on my first stream, but hey, maybe I can be more efficient this one. <laughs> this time I really am going to story skip, I swear. Once we get Horus, that'll be easier, but I might have to see if we have another... Yeah, no, I'm not going to worry about it. We'll just use him as a tank for now. I just I forgot to increase his levels. Oh, yeah. Might help if he doesn't die, you know, our tank doesn't die. Although we got these assassins jump into the back anyway. Adventure is still gonna destroy. I really love the idea they have with the adventurer being able to be like a swing character for all the affinities. So fun. We got Lydia, big drinker. She just needs to synergize with the right type, you know? She's all right. Are we stretching? But yeah, there's definitely going to be better options, hopefully. People seem to like her at first last season. Ugh. Oh my gosh. We got Hegeo. Hegeo is very good with other Radiant and Rally people. Let's go, let's go. Everything is all about synergy, you know? If someone is fire, or sorry, fire. If someone is wild, or, uh, let me upgrade him so he doesn't keep almost dying. Nah, let's make him tanky, he's not synergizing. If someone is wild, or rally, or summon, or poison, or, um, what am I forgetting? What else we got? Lightning's Dauntless. Uh, you kind of want all those things to have multiple people in the team, typically, to be able to really benefit. Um, there is no special using a link. No, my link there for download. You can use my link to download. That way, at least they'll know I sent you. But nobody's link gives you anything. There was promo codes, but none of them work now. But there is no link to give you stuff. But I have the quick, easy link to download, so there you go. <laughs> Woo! We got a cart. Yes, let's go. Can I buy summons? Oh, yeah. Let me see if um, I'm actually getting them. Maybe it knows we already... Oh yeah, I can't tell because I'm in my own stream right now. Maybe if you already collected them, it doesn't let you collect it on another account because you already collected it once on Twitch. I thought as long as you switched your Dragonair account, it would let you collect them twice, but maybe it doesn't. Boresh is the best epic in the game. Hello, summon. First thing I do, buy it from the card immediately. Yes. No questions asked. Boresh is top tier. He's very good. Can't get any better than that. Are you doing the Starlight Challenge with us and you just got a Voresh? Oh, really? That's a bummer with the Twitch drops. I really thought it was going to... Like, if you disconnected and reconnected, it would know that it's a new account. Aw, oh, bummer. Well, other people are going to get to take advantage of that. Did not That did not already do that with Twitch. Boo. I was so bummed because I saw that it lets you switch accounts. So I was like, oh, we could just switch our accounts. Great. No double dipping for the 1 million download rewards either. That's a game problem, though. I should, I'm going to have to message them. And be like, if we switch accounts, like, why would you not let us get the 1 million download reward for the new account, too? They're completely separate. Hello, 
How do you defeat the siren? Uh, that is Aleka Bray, and to be honest, I did it without even trying on my Season 0 account, so I don't even remember her skills. I used super OP people on my Season 0 account, so I will... When I get there on my free-to-play in a few days, that'll be a different story, but right now... I wailed my way through it on my Kraken-looking account. <laughs> <laughs> My Season 0 account looks like such a Kraken. Hey, Starlight! Yes, let's go! Yeah, he should be fine. That is how the horn is. The horn does not give you above 10... 90% of the time. Get get used to it. That is the horn. Get used to it. The pre-gift event was boosted rates. It actually did say that in the details. Welcome to the reality of the horn. Be happy if you get above a 10. More than likely, you're going to get 1s and 2s and 5s and stuff. Yes, that's what I did. I, I just used my same email address and started so switched server, started a new account. I didn't want to have to... I want to be able to be on my phone or my computer and just switch accounts. I don't want to have to log in, log out. It is not a true, proper, weighted, fair die. It is, it is not. It's not. It's not... Tr no. I got a legendary and two epics from the horn last season, guys. It happens. So did plenty of other people in my YouTube comments. It happens. Don't be don't be bitchy. Re just be appreciative that there's another way to get heroes. Don't be bitchy. It's just like a different form of a summon. It's just like another summon with rates. It is not a true weighted, evenly weighted 20-sided die. But at least it's another chance to get heroes. People just want to complain about free stuff. That's a you problem. That's a you problem. Nobody gets a Lego from the horn right away. Just can't, like, okay, not nobody. It's ha it's popping up in my chat constantly. Every day on my main account, I see it every day while I'm playing. It's definitely happening, but it's very rare to get a legendary hero from the horn. More than likely, you're not going to get one. That is the truth. But... I wonder if I can afford to do that as much on this account. I think I'm going to do a few. So I can actually make some stuff. You got Felicity from the horn earlier, see? You are one in a million, friend. I got a legendary from the horn on my season zero account last season. It was Tall War, unfortunately, but it's fine. You got Felicity on day two, see? No, that is not normal. You're very lucky. But you can see, two people in chat, as I just said it, from the horn, just said, yeah, I got one. It happens. Don't be too skeptical, guys. It happens. It's just, just like the summons, it's not as common. You got Ripikus? Really? Look at you guys. See? See, there you go. Guys, do not do your Outlands Rift on your first day. Wait until a weekend. Wait until you're on the final day. Do not do that today. Felicity, you, uh, I mean, all of the wild heroes you need to pair with a wild team. She's actually pretty solid. Just with a wild team, of course. You can't just use her. She's going to be pretty boring on her own. It's all about synergy in this game. It's all about synergy. Yeah, always over-explore everything, because there's so many free chests and stuff you can get. Hello, Rezzer. How are you? Alright, let's see. What am I doing? Tower defense, aka... 
take out this actually yeah take out this guy and put in her even though she has no stuff on Alexandra is gonna attack not really just kidding she's gonna try oh yeah, there's Eli okay Eli Eli can hit those two rows as he does that so we should be good okay The tower defenses are hard early. I usually just mark them on the map and do them later because I can never usually beat them the first time I try. Unless I had OP heroes like I started to have. Oh no! Don't let him go! Don't let him go! No! Hey, good job. We got let one go. Yeah, I am on Nytheria 5, which is a brand new server that popped today. You got Sigrid from the Horn already. Nice! You got a net- wait, that's really good to get a decent rare already. Even just a decent rare, like that's- that's solid. I'd be happy to get a decent rare or two from the Horn. Let alone an epic or a legendary. Just be happy with what we can get. Oh, nice. Yes. Well, okay, so Ruzzer, what I'm doing right now is a very specific thing. You can be in the same server, but if you're not doing the challenge, the Starlight Challenge, then the Alliance is only for that. <laughs> I love this. Oh, I thought that was the right answer. I thought the Starlight one was the right answer. Ah, crap. I remember that one wrong. You're gonna do the free-to-play Starlight only challenge? You're gonna do it? Not just free-to-play, but you can't pull your Heliolite die. I have all the info in my Discord. Um, the in here's the... That is not the best artifact in the game. No, the very first epic you should pick is the one that has very... The very first epic anyone should pick is this. The Crown of the Unclean. Defense penalty is not on people. This is the only way to get this debuff to put on your enemies is through this one thing. And this will make a massive damn difference against bosses. Especially like get Vortex, a long fight. Putting defense penalty on a here an enemy is huge. And the only way to get it in the game is through this. So my very favorite legendary is still Witch's Remains because it's the big version of it and it doesn't AoE. Yeah, Crown of the Unclean by far. This is perfect for um, someone like Furboth that's a tank that also does damage with an AoE. Like doesn't just... As long as someone hits with their ultimate and they need accuracy... It's a good, they're a good candidate for it. Oh, hey, we have, oh, we have, we have dupes. We got to start buying these when we can. Oh, we can't yet. It takes, I forgot. It takes 50. Oh my gosh. Not five, 50, bruh. I buy a lot of the food from the merchants, but not all of it. Because those refresh daily. So if you, um... If you need something specific for a recipe, you can always go back every day and buy it again from them. But yeah, all the details for the Starlight Challenge are in the Exclamation Starlight. My Discord has all of the details for you guys coming in here now. If you go to my Discord, um, if you don't care about Watcher of Realms, right click on it. Mute the category until you turn it on. It'll be forever muted. Uh, Dragonair here has a section for general Dragonair. If you guys want to share your bond codes to help each other out with the free-to-plays, share them here. But the challenge info, the rules are all here as well. Pretty much just only pull Starlight Die. You cannot pull Heliolite Die all season. If you get a legendary through the horn, you can use it. If you get a legendary Erich that we get from Story or Utor that we'll get from an event if we can complete the event, that's okay to use as well. Um, no content creator perks are allowed. But if you win a giveaway, or some like content creators are going to get giveaways, if you win one, you win one. But those are Heliolite die, so it's not going to help much, but they do include a scroll. Um, free to play only, no spending of any kind. 
and Wormaro you can do whatever the hell you want with. And we do have our two other content creators involved. Um, we will have an alliance together. We also have missions. So missions, we uh, first person to do certain tasks are going to get promo codes for your account, one time use only. You can only win one per section, per mission set. This is mission number one. So you can only win once per here. And whoever does these things. And it's going to be stuff to try to... The basics, plus I'm going to be doing things to help people learn how to do the game. You know, like how, like Fire Domain using a hero that dispels or blocks debuffs. This is going to be like teaching people the things you need for the different dungeons and stuff. Um, and then you'll submit missions here. If you only do horn pulls, you're not going to have many characters on your account. But you could play with all the free heroes they give you, to be fair. But yeah, all the details are there. I'm, that's the hub of the challenge. If you're doing the challenge, you need to be in the Discord, because that's where you got to submit if you want to try to say you did a mission. Um, It's also where our Alliance chat is, which people need to be in if they are going to play. But you know what? Let me do... Let me do this. Actually, yeah, she should be okay here. I really can't do much with damage right now, so we're just going to throw in the tank. Maybe I can level up... Where's my adventurer? Oh, bruh. My adventurer. Maybe I throw Notira a couple levels for now, because we're going to need her and stuff like this. Oh, we only have a few of these bad boys. Eh, it's fine. We're going to... Let's just use her for now and stuff like Goblin. Goblin, you just AoE smash. Don't get fancy, just smash. Don't get fancy. All right, let's keep her alive. A little HP isn't going to hurt. Okay. Why did this go to five? What the hell did I do? I don't remember accidentally just taking a random thing to five. All right, let's just, just take these all the way up to eight. It's very cheap early on. It's not a big deal to take your low-level gear up just for the sake of any stats are better than none. Not a big deal at all. Yeah, I did get the Reviver, but as I've said, she is hard to keep alive, so she's really bad for PvE content. But luckily, Hexandra's a pretty good healer to go along with her, so she should be fine to keep her alive. Especially once I get some better gear for these people, but... Uh, she's mostly a arena hero. Alright, let's go. Continue. We know we don't have equipment. <laughs> We don't have the option. And Ferran, thank you for the follow. Welcome. And Thunder Firefox, Mapman at Silvergrass as well, Swag. And a Lost Journer. Why do they have the Crown of Unclean paired with defense and accuracy? Because you need accuracy to land it. It's really good for like I, I said, um, a tank. Like, Furboth is the perfect candidate for it. As the example. So a tank that has an AoE, or any, any ultimate. A tank that hits on their ultimate, it needs accuracy for something like decrease attack. Thunder Firefox, well, just play the free-to-play series with us. Then you're not spending money, at least. Right? Although I do like, for the sake of spending money on a normal account, I do like the battle pass. I think the battle pass is solid. I did buy that on my main account. Seven Heliolite die included for 20 bucks. Plus all the other stuff, I think it's good. A lot of stamina. You're at Alliance now, it opens when you reach Arbortia. Okay. Good to know. All right, cool. I'm almost there. I'm just doing Goblin because we can. If I want to see if I can three-star higher stage, why not? Who's our damage? So, yeah. Okay, he's doing good. He's doing good. He's the highest level, so it makes sense.
You got Clovis and Irina. Ooh, interesting. Irina's great. That's a really good rare pull. Pre-gift doesn't work anymore. It's gone. That ended yesterday. You can no longer claim anything from that. Well, we're definitely not completing this one. At least not well. <laughs> Don't die, people. Oh, was that really the end? Oh, we... Crap. Yeah, they did not exactly put a date in the actual event itself of when you had to do stuff by. I was actually very upset with that. And there was a mod trying to be a smartass about it. I didn't appreciate it. They never anywhere said you must claim your hero and get your account to journey level five by a certain date. There was one post that was made on the 16th that said claim your reward by whatever. But the whole thing was like choosing your character. That was different. And when it said claim your reward by the 17th on the 16th, you couldn't assume that meant anything because the game wasn't even out yet. We couldn't claim our account by the 17th, which is when the event was supposed to end. So none of it made any sense, unfortunately. And it definitely pissed me off a little bit. <laughs> not gonna lie. Definitely did not make me happy. All right, we have tutorials to do, but I want to see if I can skip that for right now and come back to it. want to get this other stuff rolling and see if I can... Yeah, all right. Cart. Hey, we can upgrade our cart and buy another uh, Starlight Die. Yes, no questions asked. Thank you. So do I have five pull yet? Four. Ah, oh, one more. We got to get the one from doing this. I got to go do... I got to go do some battles. I got to do five battles in the Goblin Lair. Do I just do it? It's too early. No, it's bad. That's bad. All right, let's upgrade our main character to 20. Vivit, uh, Vicana, Talwar, and Erzillas. Ooh! Vicana seems really cool. Talwar's terrible. Unless a little bit of niche arena use, but you'd still probably use some other people. Um, oh gosh. I don't know. I mean, Arzillas is really cool if you want to go with summoners and you get lucky. Let me just quickly point out. If you go Arzillas, so he he's fun, but you definitely want a summon team with these guys. You want like all these extra summoned. When an ally's summon unit dies, he summons more, blah, blah, blah. Um, you want to have synergy. So... You are hoping to have more summoners than just him and the team. Which is actually pretty cool because the battle pass at level 10 you can choose a rare. And you could choose Teo, who has a big Captain Aura, although so does he. Um, but he actually has like a corpse explosion here and hits pretty hard. So that's a fun one to pair with him. So you could choose this rare to go with that guy if you wanted. But Vicana sounds really cool as well. So she's a poisoner, and there's probably a lot more poisoner options that I would say are stronger. So it really just depends on which one you like better. Yeah, they both seem great. I mean, personally, though, I have to say, I had I have Arzillus on my main account. And I had him in gear, and I had um Zarloth in in gear as well, but my stats were still better on Urzillas as a legendary, it makes sense. But my Zarloth did more damage in most every battle. A couple times the other guy passed him, but when the other stats were still better on the legendary, he was actually doing more damage. He is in the Necrosis uh, element, but he's not a summoner, which is great because you could throw him into any team with ice and... Throw him, him and Varesh, and that's all the damage you need. Him and Varesh is all the damage you need. He's fantastic. I love this guy. Which is really funny, because I read a weird guide on Discord this morning, and the guy was like, 
Notes. Needs needs testing. Zarloth. Sounds really bad. He's not bad. <laughs> Her ultimate's hit or miss, depending on... Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of... Choose what appeals to you most out of those two types of synergy, honestly. Wait, bruh. Why do we... Oh, it's just wanting me to... Okay, never mind. It's wanting me to go there. I'm not going there. So we gotta do Goblin Layer three times. Let's do one more. Oh, wait. I was in the middle of uploading or upgrading a couple more people. Let's throw some levels on him. I'm just gonna go 20. I'm being even for now on my couple DPSs. I'm not gonna- oh wait! Skill upgrades! Guys, don't forget to skill up your adventure as you get scrolls. We already had one. Woohoo! But don't use scroll- don't use scrolls on anybody. Unless you get someone so OP like Voresh. Or Furboth. Or Garius. Or like someone that you like know you'd keep that it seemed amazing. 100%. Um, because when you do the reset, you cannot get your scrolls back. And it says you can skill reset. There's a button for it, but we don't have the material to do it. I'm going to try doing this with a little bit better. Oh, you got the siren to work? Yeah. I can literally could not have told you what her skills were if I had to. I actually clicked it, looked away, and then it was done. And I was like, oh, crap. I didn't even... I didn't remember. So I was I was too focused because I knew I was going to be doing this free to play series. So I figured that's going to be the more relatable way for me to show that kind of content. So I'm kind of going to wait. Is it better to use the level uh, yellow summon on the event? Just use them on the banner that is the 80 summons. Don't swap back and forth between banners unless um, you know you're gonna be at a... I mean, the maxing out the 80 is impossible free-to-play. Unless you're gonna spend to make sure that happens, or you carry over summons from the previous season. But... If you stay on the 80 banner, it's gonna allow the entire pool of champions to be summoned, where it's more restrictive on the other one. Like, you're picking one hero to be boosted, and then... I mean, there's some of them are cool, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna summon for the pregnant chick, as I keep calling her. Um, I'm gonna summon for Premsa, Premsa, but the Pity doesn't carry over, so, and the Pity is not 80. For anyone that's like, the Pity is 80, this game's terrible. The Pity's 35, it's not that bad. Um, but, the, that's an event that is a guarantee, a bonus guarantee at, le if you pull 80 summons. But if you summon some on that banner and then you switch to another banner, your Pity of 35 does not carry over. So, that's the bummer there. Oh wait, I should do a couple more just for sake of getting that Starlight die, shouldn't I? Or did I already get it anyway? No, I'm, this is extra. No, I have to do... How many? Two more? Three more? I might just do it for the sake of pushing and getting this. Oh no, I only have ten points. Never mind, we're gonna be patient. I have to do four more. That's not bad. Clear the goblin layer once. Should I just do it? Ugh, I don't like doing it when it's low level, though. <laughs> I'm so bad. I'm like, should I do it? No, I shouldn't. I should be patient. Alright, Eli. How does the bond code work? So you just want need to use someone else's bond code on the adventure gathering event. Before we have to establish a bond down here with someone before you hit advent or uh, journey level six. Once you hit journey level six, you'll get your own bond code to share with people. You can use your own if you have another account, but not for new players. Yeah, I already used my own. That's how I bonded with myself. I bonded with myself. You can reach 35 before the time runs out. But it's not about reaching 35, it's about reaching 80, because the whole point of that banner is the bonus. I guess I should just do this. Gosh darn it. Okay, let's do the tutorial. 
Let's do the tutorial. We gotta kill Netta. So we want to make sure we are attacking Netta, not this bot. Right? That's what it was? Attack the girl? I mean, the aggro line needs to go between the two of you. These are so annoying, though. They're super funny. They make you learn the game, that's for sure. Hey. You got two light epics and never played with Rally? Yeah, I mean, you might... I think it's kind of fun. I, I really want to get something I've never done before. Like, I did poisons last year. I'm kind of like, I don't want to do poisons again. Healing prohibition. Wait, we can only use one. So she... He can... Stun to make it not happen. Taking damage and enemy inflicted with a debuff. He inflicts it, so she can't heal, so she's kind of pointless. Why would we be bringing in Megan? We need to do damage. I don't know what the point of negotiation powder is. I don't remember actually using it. Maybe it was for, like, one quest. But every time, like, you try to talk to the geese and they're like... It, if they don't make you use the powder. You talk to the bears, they don't... Nothing makes you use the powder. Maybe there's one of those bears at one of the gates, or like the broken things. Wait, you had to speak to a chicken with the powder? I haven't come across that yet. Or maybe I didn't, I just was doing it so fast I don't remember. That's probably the truth, honestly. So here we're going to put our two DPS there, and then we're going to throw our tank to be d distracting the guys in the front. Boom. You talk to the chicken near the geese. Oh, okay, with the negotiation powder? I'll try to do that later. <laughs> That's funny. Come on, come on. I want to get one more summon. We gotta do one more five pull at least. Oh, this is when we're gonna get bruh. Okay, good thing we're doing this. What am I saying? Good thing we're doing this. Here I was waiting and I could have got the thing instantly. Alright, we gotta not be in the path. Like use the I guess it just comes up in a, a quest or two maybe it was just like that one quest the one like talk to the chicken maybe and then they don't really make you use it on other things maybe it'll come up in the future I'm not sure I remember I bought it thinking I was gonna need to use it a bunch and then d I don't remember using it much <laughs> and then there's like the bear when you talk to the bear he wants like you give him food you don't give him negotiation powder you give him berries and he's happy right Who knows? I mean, every season's gonna be different, so maybe it'll be more used in future seasons. There's always gonna be new stories and new side quests and stuff, so it could come back. All right, it's time for another summon. By summon, I mean a five pull of helio of heliolite of starlight die. All right, we are gonna do our five pull. Let's go. Oh, why are they only giving me rare, or sorry, poison heroes? This is the poison account. Why do my free to play accounts always have to be themed? Go away. Oh my gosh. Another poison hero. We're not going to use you, gosh darn it. We've got enough. Where are you? Actually, he sounded fine. Uh, he sounded all right, actually. But he's melee. And I I kind of want to stick to like... I'd rather use Eli than him. He sounded okay, too. We can do the summons. That's literally the whole point of this free-to-play series. Is It's Starlight Die only. We cannot touch those. 
or that will give you an epic that you can use which is not fair to have more epics that's the whole point is to be stuck we're pretending heliolite die don't exist that's the point we're pretending they don't exist i don't know what you're talking about what are what are those what i don't know what you mean what does that mean can we eat it what's a heliolite die can i eat it I love Zarloth. Yeah, I want him the most. He was hitting very hard. I mean, the, to be fair, it was early gear. But when I have the legendary that does AoE smashes too, and I have him, and he's doing more damage or the same as my legendary, I can tell that he can smack. It's very clear he can smack. All right, let's get to Arbor TS so I can have an, uh, make an alliance. the request yeah 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 we'll go talk to the people in the town don't worry we can finally do commission we got to do my commissions now that we're getting closer i figured no point to hurry and rush to do the commissions we're gonna do them along the way anyway hey ginger guppy how are you yeah if anyone is just joining us number one if you have not downloaded dragon air there's my link. I also have a banner in my Twitch about section that you can click to download the game very easily as well. They do have a PC client. It makes it perfect. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, it, It's also available on Epic Games and will be coming to Steam as well as iOS, Android, and um, Mac and PC. All the things. All the things. So I also have a Starlight Challenge going on. This, if you want to learn all about that, I have a little video of me talking to the couple of content creators that are involved. And my Discord is going to be the hub for all of the information. So you can see all the details for the rules in my Starlight section on my Discord. But join us. We're going to have some fun. We're not going to touch Heliolite Die all season. We got Irma. Why can't... I don't remember her kit. I'd have to look. I cannot remember her kit. Hold on. I'm confusing her in my head with someone else right now. Hey, another starlight die. Why am I getting a red dot here? Oh, because I have a bond code now. Yes, I have a bond code now. My free to play bond code. Bond with me, people. I put it in my discord. If anyone is just starting now and you haven't put in someone's bond code into Venture Gathering, there's mine. I only need three people that are definitely going to get to level 25. After that, I don't want too many people to use mine. I want people, you know, I want people to use other people's codes. You can only get three helpers, so. But go to here, go to Adventure Gathering, hit establish a bond, and put in someone's code if you haven't already before you get to level six. And that happens already in the first quick day of gameplay so definitely make sure you're on top of it look at all these starlight die popping are we gonna have another five pull soon is that two or three okay that's two we're gonna pull we're gonna play live until i get one more five pull of starlight die hey as i get one right now yay thank you chimera bond established boom you gave me a starlight die <laughs> let's go let's activate portals we're gonna play live until i get one more five pull of starlight die then i'm gonna cut off being live and we are going to i'm gonna go grind i'm gonna go lay in bed i'm gonna go get some food because i'm hungry i'm gonna lie in bed and i'm just gonna grind like a crazy person on my phone that's my plan oh there's the letter that we got Okay. You don't get a code. You you are you put in someone else's code. Yeah, go ahead and use anyone else's code. Mine is just a couple messages up. Or Nut Power just gave their code. We're here at the guilds right now. We're at the guilds now. So I'm I'm already gonna make that. But you guys need to be in my Discord. Cause I need to tag you. So I, I need you guys to DM me too. 
I was maybe not going to do the guild on stream because I want to force you guys to actually be in the Discord because that's where we're going to talk. That's going to be the communication hub. Because we are going to have stuff and I do want to be like, guys, get your vortex done. Slackers. I got to have some place to call you guys slackers. Just kidding. It is a beautiful game, right, Ginger Guppy? That's all. Ugh, I love it. It is stunning. It really is. Very beautiful game. I'm just clearing all my purple dots as much as I can before we... <laughs> I'm going to finish quests because we're probably going to get my starlight die and then we can make the guilds. This is the guy who likes to do the drinking game. I'm going to... I guess we could do that. You know what? The drinking game is dumb, though. You don't really get much for it. Constitution helps with the drinking game. It's pointless. You don't you don't get much gold from it. It's not really worth it. It's a fun idea, but they could make the rewards better. I'll do a couple though. I'll I'll humor him. Oh. You failed. Okay, good enough. Let's talk to all the people to make sure I don't trigger any other quests. And if anyone is new, I'm fast clicking because I've done the story like three times, so. But I definitely suggest people stop, smell the roses, enjoy the story. It's pretty nice. And always steal from people first. Always steal. Because you can get some good stuff. Great God, thank you for the follow. Yes, you do need to do those quests to continue on or with the story. They are going to make you get stuck there. Definitely do them. It's a, it's quick. I just did them and I got Heliolite die. Don't you want Heliolite die? I know, but they got to assume if you could already if you already did it. Or sorry, I said Heliolite die. Don't you want Starlight die? Starlight die. Starlight die. You knew what I meant. Oh wait, Zohar. He's the one that triggers the pages. See? did He didn't have a purple dot, but he still triggered a quest. Always click everybody. Even if they don't have a purple dot, you click them anyway. I will help you. I will find your poetry pages. Always click that. You'll start gathering pages all over. Oh, it's only a plus one. I should have done plus two for dexterity. Gosh darn, I'm gonna regret that. Next thing I get is going to dexterity to at least get me plus two. All right, we won't steal the coin. I'm gonna leave. Let's go. Sagomir, what's up, Sagomir? I'm gonna steal from you, bro. Sorry. Let's go. Ah. Come on. Give me stuff. Ah. Not good enough. I don't know what you're talking about. You're seeing things. I did not steal. Okay, maybe I did. Here's some gold to repay for my... I have not made the guild yet. Nope, I'm clearing my red dots in town first. Here's the duke. This thing... You talk about the duke here, and then we're gonna have to find the duke. Dispel the mist of rumors. This might be the only person you really have to talk to about the Duke before you can actually go save the Duke. Um, Neva, that will be posted and I can't message everybody individually. So here, I'm just gonna, I, even though I talk to you, I know. But for the sake of everybody, I'm going to post the Alliance info updated here in the server. So this is where I'll post it. And then when you guys confirm, your in-game names and whatever here. Um, I will add you guys. I'll tag you guys appropriately in the Discord. And yeah. So in the Discord. In my Discord. Everyone's got to be in the Discord for the Alliance or I'm not accepting you. That's the rule. We got to be in the... It's all about community. It's all about the challenge. It's all about the community. So everybody's got to be in the Discord. That's how... I might... Like I said, I might not actually make the guilds live because I don't want random people just applying to it that are not part of 
Yeah, I think, you know what, that's what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm not gonna make the guild live, because when I post this video to YouTube as a VOD to kind of show my first day of progress, um, I'm not, I don't want to have to, I'm, I can't edit it for sake of the post. I'm not gonna worry about it. Yeah, I'm making a guild right after I finish clearing whatever purple dots I can clear in this town. When I get offline, I'm gonna make the guild, so... We want to be able to communicate. That's the important part. So the Discord is there. You need to be there or else you're not getting in the guild. I'm not accepting anybody until I confirm who you are in the Discord. That's the rule. Communication. If you're going to be... Uh, I'm probably going to have some guild rules set up where like, you know, if you're inactive more than X days, then instant boot without if you don't tell us. Kind of stuff like that. Just the simple stuff. But I'm not going to be super strict because it is a free to play. It is an extra thing, but if people are, like, a week inactive, you're gone. <laughs> you're not able to link an account? You should have started with the account already linked to begin with. That's a... yeah. You should have logged in with it. Just make another Google account. I don't know. I don't know if you're on your phone and Facebook is the only option. If you're on an iPhone, then I don't know. I don't know how it works for iPhones. Let's talk to this guy. Let's talk to this guy. Do we have a five pull yet? No, come on. I need more, I need more stuff. Let's go. Let's go. So yeah, I'm going to wait. I'm going to make the guild right after. I really want to get one more. I don't know if we're going to get it quickly, though. Maybe I maybe I pushed my luck by ex expecting to get two more Starlight or Starlight Eye so quickly. Maybe I'm pushing my luck. We'll see. But I will make the guild at the end of this stream. Either way. And then I will go grind like a crazy person. It's going to be fun. The whole point is going to be some fun interaction. You guys can share what you pull. Um, you can try to be the first to complete some of those challenges. We have giveaway codes for, which I will update the post with. We have giveaways for five Starlight Die, one Epic Scroll, and one Rare Scroll. So there's going to be some fun little bonuses for people to be able to win. And I, as content creator, I'm not, obviously, I'm not going to try to win it, you know, like, they're for you guys to win. They're for you guys. It's not for me. We wanted to make it fun, and it was really cool that they reached out to us and were willing to support us. Yeah, that's how, grammar, how, that's how you manual. Oh yeah, this guy. Oh god, I forgot you have to get, that's ah, fine. I can't remember what he ends up giving us. He gives us something at the end. Yeah, that is how you manual. Semi-manual. I mean, everyone has an ultimate. Everyone you can manual their ultimate. Yeah, everyone. That's just their ultimate skill. It's not their... Everyone automatically hits, and everyone will use their battle skill ult automatically. But what's controlled at the bottom is your ultimate. So you can time things appropriately, which is very important. That's what I show in videos when we're talking about, like, needing a cleanser for a certain thing. Like, that's where you're gonna see. It's like, sometimes you have to time things properly. Hey! We got one. We're one away. I shouldn't be surprised. I know we're gonna get a ton of stuff. Lumina. Isn't that Clarium's? Isn't that a raid thing? What the hell? Come on, come on. 
We want to get one more five pull. I've already read this story. Okay, let's go. New feature. Now we can see the details here. Hey, let's go. The Gate of Chaos season begins. These are the current synergies of the season. Read the reset. Anyone wants to know what resets, what doesn't. All the details is here. Is here. Are here. All the details are here. Reset rules for the season. All right. Clicking on all the dots just to get rid of them. Brand new server. It's always fun. No one's got... This is how you know it's a brand new server. No one has any of these emblems yet. I love it. I love it. So fun. Okay. We have four, right? Just making sure I didn't miss any. Four summons. Yep, okay. One more we need. One more summon. Gotta do one more five pull. Promise to help. Yes, we'll help. Right, go away. Wait, come back here. What do you got? A map. Always buy the maps, guys. Always buy the maps. Boom. That's pretty obvious, though, I think. Oh, yeah, this is where you're talking about, like, guilds. So I think that's where they're kind of telling you, like, hello, there's an alliance system. This guy has, okay, the deer. About the deer inside, yep. Oh, hey, a chest. Come on, be one that has something good. Give me one more. No. <laughs> I just want one more die. I'm like, come on. Come on, you can do it, game. Give me one more. Punch him. Yeah, I don't remember her, honestly. Don't remember that name. I'd have to, I'd have to look up. So many of the names are just not clicking yet, you know, like... It's still a lot to get used to with remembering everybody's names. Like, once I read their kit, I'll be like, oh yeah, okay, that guy. And I can figure things out, but I don't remember everybody's name just by seeing it yet. There's too many new- there's 80 new people this season. I can't remember everybody's kit yet. And we all just got the characters at the same time, so it's not like I played them already. The old ones I know, I just don't remember everything else. Um. Okay. We must spar. We no, and we're we're gonna spar with you later. First, we're gonna steal from you. You'll get more. Okay. So, there's the guy over here we gotta talk to. We gotta go see about the missing children. That opens up the next area. We could also go do arena. So much is opening. I wonder if anything else... You know what, let's pop back here. Let me do that other commission that I see down there. And go back to town. I forgot we have to finish this other commission. Detection failed. Oh, screw you. It's fine. You still get to complete the commission. Gotta go always back to the towns. And one thing that's really big with this game is like, okay, so we all that started on episode one, or episode, that started on day one of launch, if you already beat the ooze monster and you went to Dragon Sayer and you have that whole new area, make sure you pop back to like Arbortia and stuff. When you come back into the towns, everybody's talking about you and it'll trigger lots of new side quests that might not have been there before. Right, I always try to steal cookbooks. Come on. Yes. I really gotta get the... I know there's a couple content creators spreadsheets like Karatha had one from last season. I think Undans might have cooking as well. I don't know if Stu's has cooking, but I think um, Odd One and Scratch and 
Sky will probably add all that stuff as well. But we definitely need to get some cooking recipes. I think there's a section in the Discord that talks about cooking. Two. All right. Soothe the cow. We got to sing to the cow, guys. We got to sing to the cow. Oh, God. We failed. The cow's scared. Great. Sorry. We're, we just scared the cow. <laughs> I scared the cow, so I have to pay him for the cow. That's hilarious. Oh, Bob. Hi, Bob. Are you done scaring cows? That's what he's going to ask me. Come on. Is the deer important? Oh, that was not a starlight die one. Come on, one more. Uh, why you guys got to do me like that? Oh, hey, here's a chest. Come on. No. Ah, I'm so desperate for, I'm like, just one more. Just one more. Is the girl here that we could help find her missing deer? Not yet. Okay. All right, so I guess I should probably go here because it's going to tell me about Arena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grand Gladiator Arena. I will do that later. I don't want to do it right now. You pulled Voresh, Voresh in your first five. What the heck? Banned. <laughs> Banned. Hashtag cheat code. You haven't opened any die yet? <laughs> That's awesome. Let's go grab this chest up here in case there... Oh no, it's a puzzle. What am I doing? You beat the child of chaos. Nice. Okay. And you got and you had five already? That's fast. Oh yeah, I was waiting until I had one more because I was trying to even it out. That's right. Bruh, get over here. Get over here. I'm so hoping there's another starlight die to be had by running around over here. I'm just like waiting. I'm getting hungry. I'm pregnant. I need to eat. <laughs> JP, thank you for the follow. Mysterious deer. As my character died immediately. Wait, what happened? I wasn't painted. What just happened? I don't know. My main character just died. Yeah, I already got the two from the shop at camp. I did, unfortunately. I've pulled 15 so far. I did not get the two from the... 1 million downloads. If some people got that, they're at a little bit of an advantage, unfortunately. For me... And those of us that are using the same emails, that's the only disadvantage. But it's two Starlight Die. At the end of the day, it's going to not mean too much. We're going to get plenty as we play. Starlight Die come quick. And you don't like... I remember having like 60 yesterday that I just pulled on my main account. Not that I buy Starlight Die, that's for sure. They come quick. Mm hmm there are no codes that I know that are actually working. If anybody knows differently, please let us know. Yeah, I would exact exactly. I would take the trade-off of convenience to not have to swap around. All right. So this is a hot mess. Why they always put people in the weirdest places? So I kind of want to make sure he can attack probably down the lane for him. So he could attack a couple, at least three lanes with his ultimate. Doesn't really matter where they are. They will attack wherever. So we should be fine. Okay. 
Yeah, every promo code that I've tried does not work. And I know the other ones all expire. They didn't really give anything that was long lasting, unfortunately. You can't use reward codes. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't is what I've heard. It's weird that they won't let, like, yeah, like, why would the 1 million not transfer over? That's not fair. Starting a new account should be, like, let us have fun with the new account, too, you know? Kind of weird. Dragon SEA has been gone for a long time. That's not a, that's not a, because you used it. That's, no, that doesn't work. That doesn't, that's always said invalid to, or not invalid, I don't know. Most of them say exceeded, but some of them say invalid. Dragon SEA never worked for me ever. And all of them are expired. They've been expired for many days. Yeah, you can do that on your mobile device. Can I do that here? I didn't see a way to do that on the PC. You got Eli, nice. Yeah, if you get another point, I mean, you can use Eli and Notira and Hexandra. There you go. There's your three synergy already. Plus the adventure. That'll be four. That'll get the bonuses for the three. And keep in mind, guys, four is fine, too. You don't need like three or five. If you have people that are four, they're, they're, that fourth person is still going to take advantage of that three person synergy bonus as well. I remember always feeling weird about four. Then I'm like, why do I feel weird about four? It's literally the same. Oh, that's part of the quest. I remember that. I need to... You know what? I don't want to go talk to him yet. We need to go t get those other things activated. So let me go run to the other side. Over explore like crazy here too, guys. Over explore. Oh, hey. Yeah, I have alliances unlocked. So that'll be good. If you guys are... Starting to unlock alliances, then you'll be all ready. Let me get the tank back in here. Yeah, I will announce it in my Discord for the alliances. I'll repost it so you guys see that it's... Uh, I'll put it in the alliance info. I'll probably copy and repaste it when it's updated. I don't remember if we get anything for joining an alliance. That would be nice. Though. Hey, there we go. Another one of those things to activate. To get that chest that's glowing. Oh my gosh, I forgot to do that, I think, on my main account. I don't remember clicking that thing. Nah, I don't remember clicking that thing. Come on, come on. I want to do one more su We have to end with summons. It's how it's got to be. Unless I do single pulls and be silly, but five pulls just feel more appropriate. Horus is good, but don't book anybody right away. Don't book until your resets end, really, unless... There's a lot more tanks in the game now. Horus is okay, but if you get a Furboth, you're definitely going to use him more. Because it's the same synergy, Poison and Fire. Hey! We have to do one battle in the Grand Gladiator Arena as well today. I will. Is there any other things I'm missing over here? Did I get everything? I think I got everything. Oh, up top. No, I did not. Okay, gotta go this side. I missed going to this side. This is why we have to double check. Holy crap, this area is big. I forgot how big it is. Come on, come on. I kind of like that I got this new Horus guy. For me, he's new. I've never played him before, so it's kind of fun. Let me 
excited. I don't mind the idea of using, um, of using poisoners as long as I have different people in the mix. Like, I kind of want to use the, I don't want, I kind of don't want to use Eli, even though I should, because he's the best example of free to play damage that's AoE DPS, like one of the best examples of AoE DPS. But it's just like, I used him already. It feels boring. Wait. Let me put her... She can heal. No, come here. Come here. Okay. I think we're... Wait, did I... Oh, he was in the thing. Eh, it's fine. He could die. He's stunned. He could die. I'm great. We got Dane. Oh, nice. Dane's really good. I know Odd One Gaming used him a lot last season. I still don't have a Dane on my Season Zero account. He's one of the heroes I do not have as an epic. Ah. Come on. This should be our last thing for that one chest to go grab the fancy chest. Gotta activate all these runes. I think that's the last one. So let's run over to the other side. Ah, I'm, am I stuck? I'm stuck. Wrong side. Go around. Uh, season zero was more like... It was closed beta, but it was like restricted to certain VPNs, but anyone could play really. And then once they were too full, they stopped accepting new people. Starlight! There it is! There it is! Alright, so perfect. Got it, finally. So. Um, I'm really excited to do one more five pull. I love being excited about Starlight Die. But we're going to wrap up this live stream with one Starlight Die pull. Why not? One five pull. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get offline. And get, uh, I'm going to make the alliance. I will put all the information in my Discord. So if anyone is doing the Starlight Challenge, make sure you're in my Discord to get all the info. Uh, participate in all the missions and join our alliance as well. If we end up having plenty of spaces left over for non-Starlight Die people, I will accept... Just general fleet free-to-play accounts, too. We'll see how we go. But I, the first spots, I'm only going to accept people that, number one, are in the Discord, and number two, are doing the challenge. Let's do it. Come on. One more fun character to play with. Or not. Okay. Uh... I got two epics in the first five pull. I can't get greedy. I've got two epics so far. I got Altair. And Daunt I don't think I'm going to go Dauntless, so I don't really see myself using him. Honestly. So he's kind of going to be my main DPS right now, along with the Adventurer. And Eli. And then for... For Goblin, I'm definitely going to throw no Tira in there as well. We'll see. This is fun. Lots to do. Yeah, the Ch Starlight Challenge. All the details are... There's a video that I have on YouTube with me and Sky and Gorax all talking about it. That's the first link in that uh, explanation point that they just put up. That's in that command. And the second link is my Discord. And in my Discord, I will have... All of the stuff. Oh, yeah, but guys, by the way, look what they did. They made a fancy flyer. They made us a fancy flyer. So nice. Um, but in my Discord is kind of the hub of the challenge. So in the Starlight Dice section, there's the rules for the challenge. Uh, the Alliance info, I'm going to repaste in here. The Alliance chat for everybody tagged for the Starlight Challenge will be here. Uh, Starlight chat is just the general talk. If you guys have bond codes, you can put it with the rest. This is gen I have right above it is just general dragon air conversation. And there's special missions as well. So when you compete special mission, 
you can win some free rewards. Which for this starlight challenge, of course, the rewards will be some starlight and a couple scrolls as well to book your heroes. And yeah, if you guys get some fun summons and want to share your luck, this is what starlight luck. This is kind of the show off channel if you guys want to show what you're pulling. Like all you fancy people getting Voreshes. And then yeah, hopefully the me and the other content creators, as we put out YouTube videos specifically for or related to the challenge, or if I noticed like Sky didn't post it, but I did. I will keep that up here. And if we go live for the challenge, we can post the live streams here too. So you guys could just follow this little bubble and this little bubble for Dragonair. If you want to just pay attention to that. But yeah, my also I have random Discord casual stuff as well for my IRL and whatever. Um, something with Starlight will definitely be in the guild. I'm not exactly sure how many spaces I get, so I don't know exactly what the full name is going to be. But yeah, I'm going to get off streaming now, guys. Thank you for hanging out. Let's go raid somebody, though. Let's find someone fun to raid. And I will let you guys know what the info is for the guild in the Discord. And if you're watching this later from the VOD, head, to, head over to the Discord. It's TLDR. That's where all the info is going to be. And that's where we'll hang out and communicate. Plus, I will be live every Wednesday playing Dragonair. And possibly more often. We'll see. But I will be live on Twitch for Dragonair. So stay tuned. And my YouTube as well. And yeah, let's go raid somebody. Who, who are we raiding, guys? Who should we raid? Let's see. Who's online? Who is online? Let's raid somebody. And of course, if you haven't already, I probably should say, exclamation point Dragonair. Let me just throw the link up. If you are here hanging out, checking out the game, and you haven't installed it already, there's the link. It's wonderful. Mac, iOS, PC, Android, Epic Games, and coming to Steam. So is anybody playing Dragonair? Oh, Scratch is. Scratch is playing Dragonair. Let's raid Scratch. Alrighty, guys. Stay with me for a second. Let's go say hi to our friend Scratch. And, um, and yeah. That was really fun. I'm really excited to keep rolling. And I'll see you guys.